Hello, the short fat man is back. Yes, in my swivelly chair. I love this chair. Oh, such a blessing. But yes, we are back with more Sutton United Youth Series. Uh, can't remember some of the players that we brought in, the last place we scouted. But I have sent the scouts out again. I have used, of course, the live editor to uh, send the scouts out. So let's crack on. And uh, let's get into the game. Let's make it full screen. There we go, Mr. P, because you're smart like that, you see. So where have I sent the scouts this time? Well, it's going to be fun. <laughs> That's for sure. We have sent the scouts out to uh, San Marino, possibly the worst football team, the worst footballing country in the world. Uh, very, very low rated, but San Marino. Hopefully, we can find a star there. Uh, hopefully, that will help them. Um, Burkina Faso and Honduras. I'm hoping to get some real good gems from these. Uh, but let's have a quick look right now. What is in our youth academy? We still have Moses Mambo. Not looking that fantastic. Uh, we have Milan. Goncharov from Uzbekistan. Uh, we have Gabriel Stone. Looks like a pretty good player. Um, a potential rating, pretty good. Uh, Avotra Zakes from Madagascar. Really waiting for him to come of age so we can bring him in the team. We have Kamali, Kamali Zanyika uh, from Zimbabwe. 15-year-old centre forward. 53 overall. We don't really play centre forwards. We normally just do... Uh, striker roles. Uh, Martin Lavery from Ireland, 55 overall, not too bad. He's six foot. He's only 15 years old. Has a bit of pace about him. Potential eight and 94, isn't too shabby. But look at the pace, balance, agility. They really are getting there um, physically. Uh, could be a little diamond in the rough there from Ireland. We have Hugo French from England. Pretty weird, I know, but hey ho, he's six foot. Five star skill moves. Pretty, pretty good. That potential, 74 to 94. Like I say, if we do bring some of these players in at some point, if they don't make the cut, we can always sell them off. But look at this. Ball control, curve, dribbling. Not too bad. And volleys at 62. I will take that. I will take that. And uh, Sheila Bender Burchett. How are you doing, Sheila? Hope you're doing amazing. Welcome back to the stream, Sheila. How's your day going? Hope your day's going well. But we've got Lulu. <laughs> I only literally kept him for his name, Lulu. Uh, <laughs> he's uh, not too bad from Hong Kong. Six foot one, five star skill moves. Ooh, physically, pretty good. Technically, pretty good. And honestly, the only reason I've kept Mambo is because his name's Moses Mambo. Who doesn't want a bit of Moses Mambo? And again, I will quickly show you where we have sent the scouts this time. San Marino, Burkina Faso, and Honduras. Because, why not? So, I can't remember the likes of the players that we did bring in last time. So let's have a quick rundown of the team. We have Eugenio Samuel, 17 years old, 69 overall, really good keeper. And we have Shenouda, as always, Tafik Shenouda, 65 overall. We have Colton Stewart from Granada, at 61 overall. Uh, we have Angus Wiley. We've currently let him go out on loan. 16 years old from Scotland. Uh, we have Juvenal Dos Santos from Cape Verde. Cape Verde? Verde? Don't know. Uh, sleepy. I made some. Made an awesome dinner and fuller than a tick. Fuller than a tick on a hound dog. It's, ah, fuller than a tick. It's, Took me a while to get that. Full of the ticks, uh, tick on a, an hour dog's ass. Yep. <laughs> Took me a while to get it, but yeah, I'm smart like that. Uh, we have a Wale Namarium, the young Somalian. He is currently out on loan. We have Kazimierzka. These two are currently red carded, because I, if I can remember rightly, I got them both sent off. But we did recently bring Dominic Kazimierzak in. Uh, on the free agents, I believe, from Poland. 17 years old, 66 overall. Not too bad. 6 foot 2. Good weak foot. Because, <laughs> why not? Uh, we still have the man, the myth, the legend, Nasir Saeed. 
the 19-year-old Egyptian, 66 overall now, 6 foot 6. We have Chao Pan from China, 18 years old, nice, 59 overall. We have Gacha Dube from South Africa, 19 years old, 57 overall. Can I get any faster across camp? So we have Courtney Davies from Jamaica, the 18-year-old right back. We have Lucas Davies, 16 years old, 56 overall, right back, centre back, left back. Pretty good player, great weak foot. We do have Paolo Garcia, pretty low rated, but does do a job. And he's a very, very good player in the middle of the park. Uh, can play CDM and uh, centre mid from the Philippines. I made fried chicken mashed potatoes with cream gravy and fried squash. Oh my god, that sounds so damn good. Didn't tell me what time it was going to be ready. I was going to be there. I could have been there. Sat at the table, eating away. Could have been there. So we have Fabio Bellini, uh, 55 overall from Italy, 17 years old. He was originally a right wing back. Uh, we tried him in defensive midfielder uh, for a, a game, and he played really well, so we trained him in that position. And we have Christian Njordal, 59 overall from Iceland, 18 years old. We have Jonathan Etcher from Congo, can play a CDMCM centre back, 60 overall, <laughs> 6 of all, 1, and a great week for. Mm. Charlie Potter, 19 years old, 51 overall. Honestly, I don't really think he's going to make it. Oh, the laughing faces. Oh, a time wasn't given, Sheila. I missed out on the food. The short, fat man is going to cry. Sad times. Sad times when the short, fat man doesn't get offered food. Uh, we have a young Luke Taylor from the USA, 17 years old, can play only left mid or left wing. 57 overall, 5-star skill, mid four star weak foot, and he's pretty pacey. Playmaker for the C... AI. Because you got that. Uh, Mohammed, I'm not going to say his last name because I'm going to butcher it. Um, he is from Kenya, 58 overall right now, he has gone up by one. Can play left mid, left wing, 17 years old. Pretty pacey. Pretty pacey. How in the hell are you a short, fat man? Because I'm short, and I'm sure at some point I like food. Short, fat man. I don't know, it's just something that's stuck, and we've used it ever since. <coughs> we have Theodore Russell, the centre mid, and a cam, 18 years old from England, 55 overall, currently out on loan. And we have Toby Hart, very, very low rated, but plays like an absolute diamond in the rough. The 18 years old from New Zealand can play centre mid and a CDM. Good agility, great stamina. I mean, and a team player. And our AD, new follower. Thanks, buddy. Truly do appreciate that. We are currently doing a youth series with Sutton United. Sell all of the real, we sell all of the real players and we bring in all youth generated players, generated by the, the PC really. Hey buddy, how you doing Aaron? How you doing mate? How's your day going? How's your day going? Hope you're having a great day mate. Uh, we brought in a Jomo Dadu, 19 years old from South Africa, can play centre mid or a cam. 57 overall. We've got Kamali Vera. Uh, thanks for that like, uh, there, mate. Thanks for that like, thanks for that like. Truly appreciate you, dip my mate. Uh, I'm only 4'9", how short are you? I'm 5'7". Five, 5 five foot and a cigarette butt. Uh, doing well, mate, thanks. Uh, it's awesome to hear, buddy. Hopefully tomorrow's just as good for you, mate. And fuck off, fly. Get out of it. Um... Play some ADS, bro. Fuck uh, off! I streamed some ATS earlier. I did um, I did a collaborational stream on ATS with my good friends Rev Simulation and Walko Entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> Have you tried create your own club? Not yet. No. Um, after we've done this series, got all these youth generated players to the Premiership, won the Champions League. I was possibly thinking about creating a club. I was thinking about it. To people my size, you're tall. Hey. But yeah, 
That, that, as the saying goes, great things come with small packages. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You're awesome. Uh, I just reach home, bro. Awesome. That is awesome, mate. Awesome. What truck are you driving? I'm six foot two. Holy shit, we've got a giant. <laughs> a dream come true. Road of Glory series. Holy fuck. Yeah, it is. And we've got all randomly youth-generated players. We've sold all of the real players of Sutton United. And we're all, we're only, only using youth players that have generated from the game. And you're a giant. I'm a giant. I'm a giant. Fucking five foot and a cigarette butt. LOL. <laughs> I'm fun size. Hey. Great things come in small packages. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So we've got Camille Vera, CMCDM, 16 years old from Zimbabwe, 52 overall. Good luck at getting. Not you, you sponge. Get out of it. Where the fuck is my mouse? There it is. <laughs> Move me mouse out of the way. Vera, we are going to put you on the old loan list. Uh, we've recently brought in Kieran Driscoll, 17 years old from Ireland, 57 overall. Can play centre mid CDM. Eh, hey. no, Aaron's a giant, he is, isn't he? If I was stood there, I'd be like, hello, 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 hello. <laughs> like a giant. But yeah, it's good. Hey, this Dris Driscoll, did you get, did you get, it, get, it, get, it, get it? This Driscoll looks a pretty good player from Ireland, doesn't it? Look at him. Four star skill moves, three star weak foot. <sighs> Doesn't really matter in the old uh, midfield role, really, if, unless you want him as a playmaker, but agility wise and balance. Ooh, yes, please. That's what I want. Sprint speed, 69. Not too bad. Composure, 62. Technically, some of his stats are good in there. Dribbling, free accuracy, curve, and ball control. And honestly, short pass, short power, volleys, not too bad. And has a power free kick. Yes, he does. And we've also brought in from Scotland, Patrick Dunlop, 17 years old. Can play as a centre mid CDM, 64 overall, 5 foot 11. Not too shabby. Three star skill moves, three star weak foot, balance 78, jumping, t physically, I mean, look at this guy, could be an absolute beast in the middle of the park. I mean, look at this, technically, mentally, physically, unbelievable, Jeff, unbelievable. <laughs> Fuck me, I need help. Uh, <laughs> next we have Stepan Dragovic, only brought him in because of his name. Uh, can play as a centre mid from Serbia. Hopefully, ho hopefully, hopefully he can be the next Matic. You never know. Hopefully. So in FIFA 21, I took Salford and did a young squad road to glory and won everything with them. I'm going to take a random EFL League 2 team and do the same in FIFA 22. And I'm from Scotland. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah, Aaron. Why? Come on. Uh, gotta go. I'll try to get back in in a bit. Okay, Sheila. Okay. No worries. I'm not going anywhere. Glued to me fucking seat. But yeah, look at this. Look at this young lad here. 17 years old. 64 overall. From Scotland. Fuck yeah. And honestly, uh, Aaron, if you're easily offended, I do have like 18 plastered everywhere on my page because I'm one of those people that it just slips out. It really does just slip out. So we've got Dragovic complete the centre mid from Serbia, 61 overall, 5 foot 7. Pretty short. 5 foot and a cigarette butt. Uh, honestly, physically, look, pretty, pretty good. Some nice yellows in there. Mentally, okay. Me, I'm unstable. And technically, ball control, short pass, pretty good. He could get there and be the new Matic for our team. And uh, Adrian Hoffman, this guy is brilliant. Ferds! Hey, Ferds! How you doing, buddy? Hope you're having an awesome day. <coughs> uh, hands are glued to the controller and it's okay. I'm nearly 22, so it's all good. Good, mate. Good, good. It's all good. People can get easily offended by me. Okay, snowflakes. Let the wind blow you out. But we have Adrian Hoffman, complains of centre mid and CDM, 19 years old from Germany, 63 overall. But honestly, 
This guy has got a fucking shot on him. He's got a shot and a half. He can smack these decent balls in. I don't know how he does it with a finishing of 55, but he manages to find the back of the net more often than not. Howdy, I am good to see you. I'm fine. Good to see you again. That is awesome, Verds. Honestly, it's always glad to have you here. And I'm glad I can make your day, my friend. Glad I can make your day. But here we go. Adrian Hoffman, 63 overall, complains a centimetre CDM. Five-star weak foot. That does definitely does help him out. But physically, he is a beast. Look at this. Stamina, balance, agility, acceleration, composure. They're all getting there. And again, technically, this guy, this kid, is bloody awesome in the middle of the parks. And he dives into tackles. That's what I want. I <laughs> like that will get in there. You know what I mean? We have Robert Kidosa as well. He's a sentiment and a cam. 17 years old from Kenya. 68 overall. 5 foot 5. He's pretty short, but bloody hell he's good. Um, <laughs> he's really good. And uh, yeah, 3 star, 3 star. Not too shabby, but look at this. The yellows again popping up their beautiful little head, but curve. 82 curve. 78 short pass. Long shots. 74. Mm, yes, please. I play football and I'm currently being scouted by Liverpool and Glasgow Rangers. And I've been playing for 13 years and my coach thinks I'm a great young prospect in the football world. Well, that is awesome, buddy. That is awesome. I uh, wish you all the best and wish you luck in your career, mate. Hopefully um, you get scouted and picked up by a great team. Honestly, much love and respect to you, my friend. Well, here we go, another Scottish lad, Barry McNeil. Can play as a cam or a centre mid. 61 overall. 4 star, 4 star. 5 foot 11, not too shabby. Um, physically, is not too bad. Uh, mentally, needs a bit of work. Needs to know what he's doing in the middle of the park. But technically, with his curve, honestly, he really isn't too bad. Does have a pretty good long shot on him, so... Be good to see how he does. We have... Uh, Valhalma Jensen plays a cam or a centre forward. 17 year old from Iceland, 58 overall, uh, 5 foot 8. Possibly thinking of getting this guy at our loan. Because uh, uh, when you've got the likes of these boys, I mean, <laughs> is he going to get a look in? I don't know, but you never know. Uh, I'm a massive LFC fan, so I'm wanting Liverpool to approach me with a contract to their young team. Well, good luck, buddy. Good luck. Good luck. Hopefully you make it, mate. Hopefully you make it. You deserve it. Everybody deserves it. Everybody. So it's 5 foot 8, 58 overall. 4 star skill, most 3 star weak foot. Eh. And physically... Stamina, though. Look at the stamina. 47. That's a killer. Probably play about 3 minutes in a match and he's done. So we have Time Mao. This guy, I don't know how, he is so low rated, but he plays like his overall is 80 plus. I don't know how he does it, but he does. Dai Mao from Cambodia, 18 years old, 57 overall, can play as a cam or a CD, and we trained him in the cam position, and uh, he's an absolute beast at 6 foot 1. But look at this. Look at that. Jumping, 78. Reaction, 72. Stamina, 82. Strength, 79. Aggression, 79. He gets in there and he can win a bloody header, which is what I really want in an attacking player. If that ball's coming in, if my strikers can't get it, I want the next best person just sitting behind them to be able to get in there as well. Next, we have Vivian Daniels from Jamaica, 18 years old, can play as a right mid striker and a centre forward. 62 overall now, he's 6 foot. Great weak foot, 4 star skill moves. Pretty, pretty pacey. Stamina, that's slowly going up to a 60, but uh, crossing, curve, not bad at all. There we have Mark Bankole, 18 years old, Nigerian. Can play as a right mid, left mid, and a striker. And uh, we're getting him in that support and midfielder role, but seems to be doing a very, very good job. 63 overall, but he is really good as a striker. Up front, he plays phenomenally. He really does. 
We have Reggie Hayes. Was originally a right back. Uh, but because of his pace, we played him on the wing. He played brilliant there, so we trained him to be a left winger. And does really well with his very agile as he's running down there. Uh, curve 69. And he's a speed dribbler, which is always nice to see. This young lad here, the young Nathan Prothero, 17-year-old Welsh lad, right winger, 53 overall. But again, he does not play like a 53-rated player. I mean, you put him on that wing, and he'll pretty much outrun anyone in the league. 74 acceleration and 72 sprint speed. But somehow, this guy's like flash when you put him on them wings. Very, very bloody agile and stamina of 77. This guy could run for days. And we have young Vilo Kartanen. What a guy this is as we play, the sh you know, a very compact team. Five foot seven. And we are training him in the centre mid roll because that's his current position for us at the minute. He's not too happy he's playing there. <coughs> but it's nice to have him as a versatile player to play out on the wings or in the centre of the park. Uh, 68 overall now is uh, from Finland. 4 star, 4 star. But look at this. Acceleration 80, sprint speed 83. Great balance, great agility. Stamina is getting up there and curve 71. Not a bad damn player if you ask me. William Hunter, 18 year old English lad, centre forward. 59 overall. We are trying to get him out on loan. Hopefully uh, somebody comes for him. But look at this. Agility. 81, balance, 76, sprint speed, 69, acceleration, 69. I mean, he's going to be a very good player. I just think a bit more game time for him, and he will be a pretty good player. Uh, another Scottish lad here, 17 years old, Ian Logan, centre forward or a camp, 58 overall, uh, 5 foot 11, 3 star, 2 star. Physically, pretty good. Stamina wise, not so sure. Curve. Not too shabby. That's why he is out currently on loan. We also have Danilio Pineda from the Philippines. Centre forward, 17. 5 foot 9. But not too tall, but 3 star skill moves. 3 star weak foot. Great acceleration. Great agility. Sprint speed is getting up there. But uh, ball control, 77 and curve, 71. He really is a good player. And he has a long throw in now. Nice to see him get that trait. That's really good. Uh, Vainio Piranen, the, the man up top that is on form right now. Centre forward, striker from Finland, 19 years old, 64 overall. He's 6 foot 2. Uh, free star, free star again. But this guy is an absolute beast. Acceleration 83, agility 82, balance 73, sprint speed 78, stamina 73. I mean, this guy is getting pretty up there. Long shot, 71. I mean, we do play him in a lot of games, and he has the power header trait. A 6 foot 2. That is brilliant. And we also have Declan Crook, a young striker centre forward, 16 years old from England, 58 overall, 6 foot, 5 star skill moves. It's alright, I suppose, for a striker, but look at the physical. Sprint speed, 72. Acceleration, 71. Agility, 80. Balance, 69. I mean, overall, pretty good. Great ball control at 79. Could be a great player for the future. Possibly look at getting him out on loan. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yep, <laughs> I have put him on the loan list already. Uh, we have young Malcolm Power, Powell from Granada. Striker, centre forward, 16 years old from Granada. 60 overall. Honestly, not too bad. 5-star weak foot, 3-star skill moves, 6 foot. But look at this, jumping, 82. He's already 6 foot. <laughs> this guy is going to be an absolute beast. He really is. And then we have Duncan McGee from... Uh, Duncan Gee? G? Gee, I think. Uh, from Scotland. 17 years old, striker, centre forward, 64 overall. 3 star, 3 star. 5 foot, 10. Not too tall, but can do the job. Physically... Pretty, pretty good. That stamina at 65 is going to hinder him slightly. But you never know. Uh, 11, how you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing well, mate. Hope you're doing well there, 11. <coughs> <coughs> Do 
Quan Lian, Quan Lin, Quan Lin. I'm probably butchering your name, but there you go, buddy. Thanks for that. Truly appreciate it. And 11 there with a share. You're awesome, my friend. You are awesome. So that is the team right now. The first team. This is how the first team looks. How will they do? I don't know, because we're taking on Bolton. But going to be a different, difficult test. Uh, auto replace them for the team. Why not? Uh, Etcher and Pan. Okay, who's going to be captain for the day? Pan captain? Don't think so, somehow. Uh, let's go on rolls. We will put Hoffman as the captain in today's game. So, yellow. Oh, jeez. Yellow and white kit. Yeah, that's going to screw me over. Not happening. Uh, why did it put my home kit? There we go. Away and away. Away and away. Why not? Let's get straight into it as we take on Bolton. It's going to be a difficult test. We are away from home. How will the first team fare today? Uh, we do have two of our first team centre-backs out. I did get them both sent off. Whoops. Yeah, that's not happening. Not doing the training drills. Like I've said throughout this whole thing, I am not going to be doing any of the training drills uh, because, obviously, it, to me, it just makes the players just get too good too quick so I'm not doing any of them uh, hello there buddy how's it going just woke up it's going all good mate hopefully you have a fantastic morning mate hopefully you have a fantastic morning this is going to be a difficult test especially with two uh, center backs that aren't going to be that great but we are going to Bolton it's away from home against a difficult team hopefully these boys have what it takes Come on, boys, let's get this job done. Here we go, here we go. Oop, they are. Right, here's Pan to De Santos. Here's Hoffman. Was waiting for a run to be made by Mao, but for some reason he didn't make his run. Oh, it. Whoa, there! What a massive, massive brain fart on my part. And why has my chat bar froze? Seriously, chat bar. Game overlay. So I just hate it when my uh, my chat just doesn't turn up. Refresh. Yep, my chat's froze. Great! Oh, really, chat? You suck. So, my chat bar's froze. That's all we need, isn't it? Game overlays. Show chat. There we are. Nope, still froze. Great. So, every now and again, I will have to keep checking uh, the old stream labs for me chat, because for some reason, it's not fucking working. Oh, fantastic. It did start working, and all of a sudden, now it's decided to have a brain fart. But I hope you're having a great day there, 11. No, there you go, number 11. So, Bolton hit us early on. Hadn't even been five damn minutes. And they've already found the back of the net. Santos delivering a good ball. That was woeful. Piranen! Oh, instant reply from number 37, Piranen. Oh, yeah. That's what I want to see. I want to get my bloody chat working again. I don't know why you're not. Hmm. Hello, chat bar, my old friend. We're gonna fall out again. I don't know what's going on with my chat today. Wasn't doing it earlier. Oh, 
<laughs> I don't know why he's doing it now. It's like, you know what, short fat man? Let's give you some issues. <coughs> <coughs> but, hey y'all. Is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. So, there we go. We got the equalising goal. Oh, the boys need to keep this up. It is 1-1. One, one. We're away from home against Bolton. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Stay composed. Oh, wow. You just ran straight past him. Good tackle there. Pan to Edger. Here's Mal. This is a good bin run being made on that right-hand side. How did he make it? All the way through those. The right back Davies. Test his drink. Test his drink. Questions need to be asked. Look at this. How did he manage to keep off those two? Shield in the ball and slot the ball in the back of the damn net. Test his water. Test his water. It is 2-1 to Sutton United against Bolton early on. It looks like this is going to be a high scoring game. So here we go, De Santos, the left back. That was a poor ball, but uh, there's Hoffman. Struck from range. That's what Hoffman can do. That's the number 15. The captain for today. With a shot from range. This game is something else. Uh, a few updates are definitely still needed for the AI with your defenders, but other than that, not too bad. Just look at that shot. Just look at it. It was great. It was great. I moved my mouse out of the way. Uh, I need to... don't know why I'm... A... There we go. Screen was acting funky. Alright, so his back out. Really? Can we please get in a. Can somebody tackle this guy and keep the ball, please? Right, DeSantos, come on, mate. Realise you got legs. Make a run. Oh, that was the worst thing you could have ever done. Get the ball away. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, really, Mal? Brain fart central. Don't make me bring out Benny. Don't make me bring out Benny. Benny's not scared to come out. Oh, Davis. Skipping past him like he wasn't even there. All he needed was his rope. Cartonen aims down at the floor. Gets Sutton the fourth goal of the game. It's only been 28 minutes. And the number 33 on the score sheet. That is absolutely beautiful to see. What's not beautiful to see is Streamlabs chat not working. I've reset it, took it off, put it back on. Still not working! Why? It's showing chat in my streaming software, it's just not showing it in my bloody window. Hoffman, get it. Oh, really? Can't stick out a foot. Can't stick out a foot. Do not pull him on side. Get in a tackle, lads. Get in a tackle. That's it. Here is Hoffman. Should call him the Power Ranger. Really? Ref, you suck. Get the dust out your eyes. So here we go, Santos. Crawford. Oh, that was a good little dink over him, right? Wasn't too shabby. Oh, come on, ref. The wind could have blown him further than that. Mark your man, mark your man. There we go, Carton. Uh, that was probably the worst pass I've probably ever seen a player make. Here they come. Look how many bodies they've pushed forward. 
Easy save for Samuel. Nice lofty ball over for Santos. Can he get there? Yes, he can. Delivering a good ball. Far post. Far too easy. <laughs> Don't worry, Carton. Don't chase it down, mate. Far too easy to tackle. Far too easy. And the half-time whistle has gone. The boys haven't played bad so far. Not too shabby. I still need to get my damn chat to try and work. Why you no work no more, huh? Why? <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my chat. So I've got my chat and my streaming software. I normally have it up as well in a little box in the corner and for some reason the little box is frozen why the force is strong with this one no it's still not working <laughs> I don't know think I broke it <laughs> won't be the first time but there we go the half time whistle has been blown the boys have done amazing so far four goals to one uh, we did go 1-0 down, but uh, let's not the boys have a point to prove. So who are we going to bring on? Let's bring on the Scottish youngster, Dunlop. And Hoffman for... Bellini. Plays pretty well. And uh, Carton and for Dragovic. Let's see how these three do. Can they make a difference? Bellini, Dragovic and Dunlop. We know what Bellini has in the uh, the old locker. But uh, the other two new guys, how will they fare? Van Coley's and not really been doing much, but Dunlop, look at him. Oh, he's like the tyre in here, look at him run. Pace for days. Poor pass though, could have done a better delivery than that. That would have been a bit better. Far too... Oh, Van Coley, why are you running out of the way, mate? Hey, I saw that lag spike there, game. Don't cheat on me. Really, game. Yeah, it does like doing a lag spike on you when you're near their end. That was lucky. Yeah, the odd uh, occasional lag spike popping up every now and again when you're near their goal. Uh-huh. Okay, game. Smooth. Uh, we're going to get in a tackle sometime today. Yay! The boys tackled! Here's the Santos. On oh, the number 12, the keeper with a very, very good save there. So, Kidosa swinging the ball in. Pirinen, you need to be doing a lot better than that in the air, mate. Come on, Davies. Come on, Davies. Uh, oh, jeez. Come on, boys. Some tactical awareness. Right, so here's Bellini. A defensive midfielder. This is a good run on the far post. Far too easy for the defence to cut that one out. Could have held a paperweight down with that shot. Good ball in, and again, just not the right touch, not the right touch. <laughs> Stop running round him. Offside, mate, offside. Any closer offside, you'll be sat in the keeper's pocket. Does he wear pockets? Nobody knows. Has he got pockets? Maybe he has, but nobody will ever know. Oh, Dragovic, you need to be doing a lot better than that, buddy. Oh, ref! Taken down like he was in a hurricane. Ref, you need your eyes testing, buddy. That tackle was bloody dreadful. <coughs> so it looks like Bolton are doing a sub. Ooh. I don't know if my whole chat bar's froze or not. I'm probably going to have to check that out. 
So go, go, boys, go, boys, go, boys. Give me my central defender. Don't let him walk all the way through because you forget how to pick players. Come on, game. Don't cheat. Come on, Dunlop. Come on, Dunlop. Uh, that was dreadful. That was dreadful. He got so damn lucky with that turnaround. So damn lucky. Bancola getting on the score sheet. The fifth goal now for Sutton United against a defensive, lacklustering Bolton. Uh, defensively, those sort of haven't been uh, much better. Oh, wow, what a ball that was. Be nice if we could get it. Oh, new legs, please. Lieutenant Dan's not happy with that one. Close him down, close him down. Jeez, oh, don't open the space right near him. Jeez, game. You're fucking dreadful. Oh, good ball. Davies making a very good run. But he's absolutely spent. Easy claim for the keeper. Defensively. The AI... <laughs> EA need to fix the AI in this game. They really do. They are absolutely dreadful when it comes to player movement. And knowing where the damn ball is. Bellini with a strike. Palm save there. From Dixon. And look. Piranen. Piranen, wake up, mate. The ball was right near you. Bellini with a strike, but the AI with your players. Just absolutely damn dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. They need to fix that. That's just disgusting. But we had 12 shots to their one. Wow, they had 70 completed passes to our 44. 13 tackles to our 43. Didn't do too bad. 48 possession to them to our 52. 5-1 against Bolton. That wasn't a bad. That wasn't a bad. Very nice. So Vero. Oh, jeez, what are you saying? As uh, Jensen, I've not been enjoying my football. Alone could help you move forward. Whatever. Uh, Vera, alone could help you. You're only 52 rated. Come on, what more do you want? So we've got some scout reports back from some players we've been looking at. I do think these were all of the players that we was initially scouting and then we just gambled on a couple. Uh, transfer offer for Dadu. It's worth 180. They've offered 185. You know what? I will accept that. I will accept that. We'll let him go for that. And uh, two main defenders are actually back. And is my chat actually working? I'm going to have to check this out because I don't trust Streamlabs and I don't trust Facebook. So we're going to try and have a look. Because I don't know what is going on. Something's going on. Okay. Uh, Rev there with a the like. Thanks, buddy. Truly do appreciate that. I'm currently having problems with my game not showing chat up. And apparently my phone hasn't even told me that I'm live. Great. Come on, game. Is chat even working? Hello. Hi, Rev. Might have to just keep chat up on my phone. So that's not going to be great, is it? You know, because... Uh, great score there, Mr. P. Thanks a lot. Truly appreciate that. <laughs> Truly appreciate it. But yeah, my, my chat is showing up in my streaming software, but it is not showing up. Let me just reset it. Give me one second. Great. 
going to reset the whole chat thing completely in settings. Rather than click on refresh, I'm just going to wipe the thing. So it should. Just close that. There we go. I think I've got it working. I think. And there we go, my little chat box now says from Rev, hello, and Ferd's there with a great score there, Mr. P. Yeah, the boys did really well in that game. And, uh, oh, Dadu, another transfer offer. Is it the same one? No, it's not. 195. Accept it. Accept it. Move on, boy. Move on. We do have some pretty, pretty talented players. But for all the new guys and girls that have come in... Let's have a quick look at the youth staff of where we've sent our scouts. We're going to San Marino, Burkina Faso, and Honduras. Maybe find some very, very talented players. Maybe. So now we've got Bolton in a cup match. And we're, oh, Ayan Spore. Is it Ayan Spore? Why do they always want a loan to buy? No, loan him. <laughs> I don't want to sell him. I want him to get some good game time and come back better. I don't want players, you know, good players to just sit on my bench and then go, well, I've had enough now. You know what I mean? You just don't want that. Don't want it. Right, so what are we going to do? We're going to put Guy up front with power. Why not? Hey, Bellini, you did play, so we'll put Nodal, Prothero... You pan. Um, bit short on the old uh, players, but Mal, you can't really play there, but we're going to put you there just for this game. Why not? And. Hmm. And Saeed, why not? Saw you there. Actually, I can go on the bench. Davies, Davis, should I say, for Davies. Uh, Hoffman, we're not having you as a left back. That's just really weird. Um, I really don't have that many options as a left back, do we? Jeez. Um, Hayes. Unfortunately, Hayes, you're going to have to do the job for us. Whoops. Uh, we will, of course, bring on, who didn't get a go, uh, McNeil, Driscoll, why not, Mal Bellini, for casual music. Why not? <laughs> right, so let's see how these guys get on. Hayes, you know, you can't really play as a left back, but we could train him to be a left back so we can play left back, left wing, right back, centre back. He's a really good player, so. Do need to change their kit colour again, but we're taking on Bolton again. So here we go again, as we take on Bolton, we are at the VBS Community Stadium, we are at home, and uh, it's going to be a difficult test, so let's, you know what, let's put Stuart between the sticks, he needs a couple of games behind him, how will we get on in the cup, fully rotated team, taking on Bolton, uh, this is going to be a stern test, that's for sure. Especially seeing as it's a cup match. But it, it does give these guys a good run out. So here we go. In the Carabao Cup. Taking on Bolton. Deja vu, me thinks. Deja vu. So here's McNeil to Saeed. <laughs> the number 34. I'm going to completely butcher his name every time I try to pronounce it. 
Well, oh, they're playing this, uh, making the chase as uh, a bit of pace about him. Yeah, a bit of pace about him, nay. Eh? Close him down. That's the problem with defensive players. For some reason, the AI make you run your player around them. That gets really annoying. Good ball to McNeil. Strike from range. Oh, we shanked that. He'll be cutting the grass with that shot. What a daisy cutter. And again, he, a, uh, with the kit numbers and names on the shirt. Great. Still haven't fixed that. Get on it, please, EA. Right, so give me the centre back. Nice. Don't you dare get lucky with that ricochet. Because that'd be absolute dog shit if that's the case. Um, Nodal, why did you run back and out the way? Players, can we please just somebody close somebody down? Get a tackle in. Shouldn't be having to be like pulling teeth just to get. Oh, I saw you there, game freeze. Sneaky twat. As if EA doesn't make it hard enough with, you know, screwing your defenders over. You know, not being able to defend. But here is the young Welshman, Prothero. Down the wing, good ball in. Just really unlucky. Who the hell has it picked me? Why has it picked me someone from centre mid to chase the ball down on the wing? Game, come on. Get with the program. Here's Nodal with an effort. Great strike and a palm save from the keeper. I have to keep checking, make sure my chat hasn't froze. Right, let's try and swing in a good ball far post. Oh, header just over the bar. Very unlucky there for Sutton. Looks like Bolton have picked their game up from the last time we played them. Uh, can we please pass the ball? Don't tackle and then leave the ball. That's not how football works. Oh, the AI sometimes. The AI, it's an absolute killer. Uh, here's young Prothero. He must have heard me praising him and then all of a sudden gone, you know what? Transferred from free agents, Delgado for Burnley. Alright. And Fly, will you piss off? You'll put me off. Really, re can we, you know, just stop running around their players and actually just, like, run to them, get in a tackle? Sweaty. I don't care. It's sweaty, but it counts. And again, apparently his mum hasn't washed his kit. <coughs> so he's having to use a spare, as some of the players do. Look at them. Kit numbers missing. Kit names missing. EA have been told about this. And fly, bugger off. But uh, hopefully they get that fixed. If not, we're going to have some real issues. Because it would be nice to see the players' names on their kit. You know, they play for the team. So there we go. Good tackle. Left the ball. Run around him. Run, McNeil. Run your little legs off. That's not the pass I was really looking for, but... We got lucky to get it back. So here we are, looking for a run on that left. Here's Hayes, playing as a makeshift left back today. Good ball in. But straight into the palms of Dixon. Not all, strike from distance. Try and catch the keeper out, but oh! Dixon having to palm that one over. 
Let's try an out swing fall. Was it a ricochet? Is it another corner? Yes, it is. Let's try that again. Oh, too much on it there. Unlucky. Very, very unlucky. It was a good delivery in. But not the best contact, was it? Not the best contact. I don't know what's uh, with Bolton and these short balls. You know what I mean? Short balls. Uh, can, please, can you slide or something? Just tackle and get the ball. It does get annoying when it automatically, you know, you go to run and tackle and it will run your player around theirs. Uh, that is frustrating. But the half-time whistle has been blown. We uh, find ourselves in the lead right now. But uh, Bolton definitely picking up their game for uh, for this one. But uh, mm, need to be doing a little bit better, don't I, really? So um, G and Power, Powell up front haven't really done anything. Let's bring Daniels on. In the centre of the park. Hopefully that can make a different, bit of difference. So we took Saeed off, brought Kazim and Zakama, put Daniels on the right-hand side in the middle of the park. Hopefully he can uh, do a job for us there. Close him down, boys. Close him down. Or don't. You know, you're supposed to close down the opposite. Don't you do that glitching crap. Did you see that? This, the frame skips. Uh huh. Alright, EA. Alright. Want any more in this game? That's when you know it's not your game. Whoa! Whoa! Why? Oh, what the fucking hell was that? Rebound, open goal. The only player that was open, the fucking ball goes to him. Come on, FIFA, fix your shit. Same shit, different cover. Alright, all right, so we're running around players again like they've got the plague. And again, running around him like we can't tackle. Never mind standing there with your fucking hand up. Get in a tackle! They are near the goal. Please, just fucking tackle. I don't care about anything else. Just stick a fucking toe out if you need to. Oh, how is that not a foul? And how are we not able to tackle? Now, right, look at this. It's constantly getting behind. Run around the player. Stick a fucking foot out. And pass. Don't just stand there. Run. <laughs> oh my days, EA. Where's my tactics? Make a run. Here's McNeil. Strike it. Good save from the keeper. Sutton find themselves down. Uh, need to be doing a heck of a lot better. A heck of a lot better. Oh, we're not going to get the header on that one. Um, can you tackle? There, we got a tackle. Oh, you just tried to place it. Unlucky. Goalkeeper alert. Oh, come on, McNeil. Come on, McNeil. Need bodies to pass to. Far too easy. And come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, run, 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 run. Can you please pass? I'm spamming the pass button and he was not passing. Uh, you're not the pass that I asked for, but uh huh. And that definitely fucking wasn't. Again, getting screwed over by the pass choices of the game. 
So it goes to prove that you can beat a team. Get in a fucking tackle and keep the book. Why, Davies? Why are you not showing some awareness? Get in a fucking tackle. Jeez, trying to tackle is like trying to pull fucking teeth. Give me the frigging ball. Don't run around him. I know exactly what you're going to fucking do. And he runs around him. Uh -huh. Tackle. Oh, finally. The boy's got a tackle. Oh, we got a tackle. And then all of a sudden that dog shit pass. Daniels. Good ball. Good ball. Carry on. Come on, come on. Don't lose your legs now. Oh, do you want to knock that ball any further out? Let's bring Crook in, Crook in for Powell. <coughs> Could have sworn that was a corner. So again, just not able to tackle. Oh, fuck off game. Getting screwed left, right and centre. Sutton United do not deserve to lose this game. Oh, here we go. Can Crook? Can Crook do it? Get in! An equalising goal on the 90th minute from young Crook. Oh, what a substitution that was. Good ball through. Oh, Crook, you beautiful little beast. But the team is absolutely spent. As we say, fitness is a massive issue for these lads. A massive, massive issue. Hmm. Oh, we go straight to Penos. Oh, jeez. We've uh, been screwed on penos before. We know this feeling. So here we go. Let's go to the left. If you can just target the left for me, please. That would be uh, great. That goes in. So that's one penalty. Oh, I thought he was going to go down left. Good uh, goal there from Tut. Let's try and go, if we can, to the right-hand side. Why do they make it so difficult for penalties? Nice there from Reggie. Good save from the keeper, making it hit that bar. Come on, boys. McNeil, make the team proud. Slot it in that right-hand side. Far too close to the keeper there, boy. Yo, you need to be doing a lot better than that. Uh, good shot there from the number 11. No, 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 no. How did you get that ball in the back of the net, lad? Oh, keeper, you need to be doing a lot better. A lot better. Here's Crook. It's all riding on Crook. Down that bottom left. Easy save for the keeper. Stewart needs to make the save. And he does! Stewart with the save. It all rides now on Davies. Come on, boyo. Good shot there. Good shot. And again, it's all down to the goalkeeper, Stewart. Come on, lad. Come on. Here he is in between the sticks. And a good save! Stewart! Keeps us in it. What a keeper. What a keeper. Bring him in for today's game. And he's made a cracking, cracking save there. Two must saves there. And he's made them both. Johnston must be absolutely... Livid with himself. 
But Stewart in between the sticks. Look at the players running up to him. Sutton know they deserved that. What a game that was. To get taken to Penos. They had better possession. They had six shots. 71 passes complete. We had more shots. Just not able to get them on target. But winning on Penos. Stewart between the sticks today will go home very, very happy. That was a fantastic fantastic performance from him definitely definitely was needed so we have Anspor have accepted the hunter loan agreement okay so uh, accept so hunter will be going out on loan uh, Dadu has been sold to Helmstad BK, the deal will go through. And, uh, yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, one player out the door and another one out on loan. And a crook loan offer. Shanghai Shinua. When I'm on loan to buy, I don't want a loan to buy offer. I don't want them to have the option to uh, buy him. Let's see if they'll just accept the one-year loan. I do not want to let that player go. And they uh, would have got Mao. I know that eventually you'll be looking at a new attacking midfielder, but I think I can do the job for you in that position if you give me a chance, Mao. That's, that's already your 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 uh, place, buddy. It's already your spot. Already your spot. So Malcolm Powell makes senior debut. Didn't really set the world alight, did he? Stewart, though. Stewart between the sticks. Definitely, definitely did well. Add him to the loan list. I want him to get uh, a decent amount of game time. Uh, Davies. Mm. Need to send some more out on loan, really. Vera, you're loan listed. Uh, Dragovic, are you really going to get in the team? That's, that's the thing. Uh, Jensen, I think we'll just, you know, add Jensen to the transfer list. Daniel Bancole, Hayes, Prothero is loan listed. Hunter has accepted a loan move. Piranen, Crook did really well. Powell didn't really do a lot. Duncan Gee adds a loan list. Yes, they're both pretty high rated, but if they're not going to perform, then what's the point on being in the team? So here we go, as we're going to be taking on Warsaw in the league. This is going to be another good test to see how the uh, team fare up against uh, a very good team. Warsaw have some great players, but we are running out with a 4 3 1 2. How will these guys do? Honestly, I have no idea. So, let's get straight into the game and uh, let's see how they get on. Hopefully they do alright. He says. Oh. Nice. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, oh, that keeper, how well was he in between the sticks? Making the great saves when needed. So... Here we go against Warsaw. We are at home. Can the boys put in a good performance away from home? Oh, Piranen. Unlucky there with the slide. And there should be a throw in to us. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Here's Kidosa. Just randomly runs into their player and gives away the ball, you know, as you do. Great tackle there from Mao. The Mountain Mao, we call him. God, the passes they're making so far, just opening us up. Oh, the Santos, beautiful. Poor pass, poor pass. Davies though doing well to keep the ball. Oh, that was supposed to be a good lofted ball over, but wasn't really uh, well timed, was it? 
Chase him down, boys. Chase him down. Tackle and keep the ball. Tackle and keep the ball. That's what we want to see. Just tackle and keep the ball. There's a good ball in. Headed effort. And back of the net. Bancole. Getting the old noggin on there. The number 13. Uh, their fans really aren't happy next time, buddy. Uh, go to your side. Yeah, look at the fans. I tell you what, though, some of their fans were clapping. Got to say, good sportsmanship. Good sportsmanship. But it's 1 0 to Sutton United in the 15th minute. Bancole with a beautiful header uh, to get the ball in the back of the net. I'm back! Sorry. Oh, yeah, your internet of late's not been that great, has it, Eleven, really? I don't know how you cope with your, all your internet troubles. I'll be absolutely fuming. The short fat man would definitely have some uh, choice words for the internet provider. Good ball, far post. Headed effort again! Piranen! Piranen, Piranen, Piranen! And so, what did I miss, mate? Well, we went against Bolton again in the uh, Carabao Cup and uh, it was 2-1 to Bolton and we managed to get the equalising goal in the 90th minute to get it to penalties and the young goalkeeper of Sutton United making two, two game-saving saves to get Sutton United through to the next round. It was intense. It was intense. Uh, is Piranen to Kidosa. Looking for a good run. But uh, did the dummy. Here's Mao with an effort. Was not far away. Wasn't far away really was it? Good shot from uh, Mountain Mao there. I mean, uh, it was causing the keeper to... Uh, Step off the old line, wasn't it? Bless him. So here they are on that right-hand side. Can we get in a slide? Oh, I was going to say, get in a slide to try and keep that ball, but... DeSantos doing well there to keep that ball. Get in there, boys. Get in there. Tackle, that's it. That's what can happen when you know how to tackle. Oh, defensively there from De Santos. That's uh, what I want to see. Oh, it's Kazimierzak. Waiting for a good ball. There it was. The dummy run. Good ball. Too close to the keeper, though. It was a very good dummy run. To be able to trick. And the players into thinking that was going to be the ball that was played, but... Tackle from behind, lads. Really, really, you're gonna let that stick. Come on. All right, close them down. Why is nobody closing them down? You're giving them far too much space to cause problems. That was a dreadful pass. That was a really, really poor pass from the player. But Carton, and we know he's got pace. Dirty. Dirty. So, a free kick. Um, Hoffman. Oh, just tried to loft it over, catch the keeper out, but... Not able to do so. You can tell where they're going to play it because it's the one place our fucking players aren't. Good tackle. Uh, come on, Carton, then, mate. Wake up. Mal with an effort. Easy save there for the keeper. Far too easy there. Couple of good chances. Uh, Piranen. Yeah, he's 
not really been with it, has he? So, uh, let's bring Dragovic on, uh, on that left-hand side, Kidosa. Let's save your legs, and uh, we'll bring on Bellini. Switch Bellini and Hoffman around. And pull you down a touch for the CDM roll. Down here. There we go. And... Decent goal there. 2 0, keep it up. Yeah. Trying. I'm trying. Davies is absolutely knackered, and so is De Santos. But De Santos is playing really, really well on that left hand side. He's playing really well on that left hand side, in fairness. They're playing well. I can't take them off if they're playing well. If they get too tired, of course, we will have to think about doing something, but... Not do too bad at the moment. So here's Saeed to De Santos. Having a very good game on that left-hand side. Dragovic. Ha! <laughs> Their play slipped. Hey, what was with the game lag? Cut that out. You know the game's going to screw me over now. That is oh Mao, Mao's picked up an injury. No, that's not what we want to see. Mao is injured. Good job we saved that uh, last substitution there. Hopefully it isn't uh, a serious injury there. He is a crucial, crucial player for us. Here is Daniel's fresh legs. He's offside. Offside. Unlucky there from Bancola. It was a good ball pushed through uh, to beat the defensive line. But uh, definitely need to be doing uh, a lot better than that. But like I say, I'm hope. I'm hoping his injury is not too serious. Mao has been an absolute mountain for us. He's been absolutely brilliant in midfield. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Dragovic. Daniels. I wasn't expecting that to beat the keeper. I don't know how that went in. The keeper needs to be doing a lot better in them positions. He didn't have anybody really blocking his vision for that shot. Whereas, whether he wasn't expecting him to take a shot and he was expecting him to play it through. So Piranen could get a strike on it. I don't know. Let's have a closer look. Poor, poor defending there from Warsaw. Poor defending, but it is 3-0. But the downer of the day will be the injury to Mao. That's going to be the talking point of the match. Got to pass back to Samuel, the keeper. Let everybody reset and just smack it out. <laughs> there we go. Just gives the team a chance to reset, get back into position. Don't want to get caught out with two bunny uh, bodies up front. Good header. Oh, we went to do some skills around his man and got nudged to the floor. Come on, boys. Here's Dragovic. Effort from range. Not the Hoffman effect, is it? Piranin is getting pretty tired, but really want to take him off and again a good slide and a good tackle Piranen all that for a soft as cheese effort let's try and deliver in a good ball in the center of the park for DeSantos uh, nobody else gonna run in for that no okay so we're getting a good tackle they still get the ball 
uh, you know, because that's how physics work. And again, running around their plate, and again, running around him. EA, fix your shit. This is ridiculous. I should be able to tackle. A good ball away. Good ball away. Here's Bancola. He is absolutely knackered. But he does have bodies running in. Here's a chance for Piranen. Oh, and he shanked it. That's not what you'd expect from the number 37. You put your house, your wallet and your car keys on uh, him. Getting that in the back of the net. And again, what's with the goalkeepers at the moment? With his short passes out. Kind of weird. Not going to lie. Good tackle. Uh, wasn't great there though, was it? Oh, it's Bancole with an effort. And again, another shanked effort. The energy levels really getting to the boys. I mean... Let's have a quick look at the energy levels. Piranum, Bancole, Hoffman, Kajmanzak, Saeed, DeSantos and Davies. Absolutely knackered. But, whoa, Davies, where the hell were you running to? Out of the way of the balls where you was running to, mate. Come on, fix your shit. So here they go, here they come. Good tackle there from Daniels. Still had a bit of energy, not a lot. Good tackle. Says Dragovic. With pace. Real unlucky there, but it should give us the throw in. Yes, it does. Good play there. Looks for the far post. It's Hoffman! There's the Hoffman effect. He is absolutely knackered, cream crackered, spent, tired, drained, exhausted. But he still made that run. Look at him. And slapped on the old right peg back of the net. Goal! What a strike. The Hoffman effect. He was absolutely exhausted. Let's have a look at his energy levels. Look, Hoffman. He is exhausted, but he still managed to make that run. That's what I want from the players. Even though they're exhausted. Just get in there. Have an impact. Goal! Nice. Yeah, it was a good goal. Oh. There we go, final whistles blown. Sutton United 4. What a good game that was. But energy levels, once again, is the big problem. We took on Warsaw. They had more possession, but we limited them to one shot. What a fantastic performance today from the boys. And that Hoffman goal, sweet as you like. So, Jensen, here we go. What's he got to say? Uh, now that you've changed your mind about loaning me out, yeah, don't make me regret my decision, even though we've literally just took him off the loan list and uh, put him on the transfer list. So, there we go. We've got an offer in for Prothero. It is a loan offer. I'm not letting him go out with the option to buy him. Uh, I'm going to see if they'll take him on a two-year loan deal. He's only 53 rated, but he is a good player. I want him to get the game time so he can get better. Just sitting on the bench here and there for us isn't going to get him good. Like I've said, I'm not going to be doing the um, uh, the tr uh, you know the training to get him better because I think if they play well, it should automatically go up like it normally does. So here we go. Declan Crook has agreed a one-year loan deal. With Shanghai Shenua. Okay. And Prothero. Mjolnardalen IF have accepted the two-year loan deal for Nathan Prothero. Yes, 17 from Wales. The right winger. 53 overall. But he is a good player. He needs that game time to grow, develop and get better. I don't want players 
Because I'm one of these people that I like bringing in the players and I like squad rotation. But I also want him to grow. I don't want him to sit there and just fester, you know what I mean? And there we go, confirmation. William Hunter has agreed his one-year loan move to Alanya Spore. Great. Uh, Accrington, they want to uh, Wilhelm Jensen. So he's going to be staying in the league. They've offered a 640. Yes, please. You can have him. I will even get in my car and drive him down to where your stadium is. Yes, please. I will take that all day. But give me one minute. I've just got to go to the short fat man's room. So I will be right back. The short fat man is back. Don't take him long to waddle to the short fat man's room. So, how are we looking? Sutton United, after three games played, nine points. Wow, but Burton Albion, Charlton Athletic, Sheffield Wednesday, right behind us by two points. Oh, we need another left back. Mm, Mariam is out on loan. Uh, who else can actually play left back? Right back. Right back and left back. Um, can you be trained as a left back? Taylor, possibly. Hmm. Huh. Need someone with a fair bit of pace about them. Good agility, but... Driscoll. How tall are you? 5 foot 11. Not that quick, but good balance, good jumping. Uh, you're training to be a centre back because you're 6 foot 3. Um... Might have to be Hayes. Let's see if we can develop him into a left back as well. Why not? And get that out of the way. There we go. Uh, Hundred and sixty-one weeks to train him as a left back. We've got plenty of time, so we will be able to play centre back, right back, left wing, and left back. All right. All right. Okay. So here we go, we're going to be taking on Blackpool now. This is going to be a very stern test. Blackpool, very, very, very strong team. Uh, it's going to be a difficult test for these lads, especially going against a great team like Blackpool. Um, I think we are going to run out with the twos. Um... We'll give Shenouda some time between the sticks. And we'll have Davies on there. 
Um, Powell, I don't know why it's saying put you there, but... Powell, you can actually play there? Really? You're a striker. Alright, I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing. Um... Oh, do 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 decisions, decisions. Perinan is absolutely spent. So McNeil on the bench. Edge uh, Vera. Let's give Vera a go on the old bench. There he is. We are training Vera to be a centre back. Yeah, we'll have, have Vera on the bench. Hoffman, uh, Driscoll or Dunlop? Let's give Dunlop the, the go there. Uh, for Prothero, because hopefully Prothero will be going out on loan. And Basilgalawa, is it Basiligit? Oh, Basiligitwa. For Edger. Two very defensive players. Let's put you there and there. Dunlop. Switch sides, because you're right footed. You're right footed as well. Well, <sighs> just think that's just going to have to do. It's just going to have to do. Let's get in there with a uh, totally mixed team with, uh, with G and Crook up top. Hay sat just behind Dunlop, Edger, and Bellini in the middle of the park. And in defence we have Powell, Pan, Dubé and Davies and Shenouda between the sticks today. Hayes is going to be the captain. How will we get on? I don't know. But hopefully the boys do alright. Hopefully Declan Crook can get some good form again. He was the guy that did get us that equalising goal against Bolton in the Carabao Cup. So hopefully... You can find the back of the net again in today's game against the strong, strong Blackpool. Good tackle there from Crook. Here's Bellini. So here's Edger. Just having to hold the ball up until he found options. Offside. Just trying to leave the ball. Dubé with a good header. Uh, don't automatically change my player when I get near the ball. That's bullshit. Yeah, but here's one for Hayes on this right-hand side. Can he deliver? Easy. Too, too easy for them to clear the ball. It's uh, physically doing great. Bellini! Oh, what a good effort, but an even better save there from the keeper. They have some quality players, the Blackpool. Just, just making it harder for themselves, really, aren't they? Uh, why are you not giving me the number four, Bellini? That is a load of bull. Don't you start not giving me a player near the ball again that's closer. That is stupid. Uh, why aren't you carrying on your run? That is ridiculous. Come on. Delivering a good ball. Far too easy. Far too easy. Right, Dunlop, come on. Heavy touch. There's heavy touches, and the first touches, and the passing. Uh, can you please get in a tackle? Come on. The problem with FIFA 22 is you can't fucking tackle, and that really bugs me. 
really, really bugs me. And your players are about as responsive as a dead fish. Come on, we was being pulled back there, ref. Well, here is Crook. Come on! The young Crook. He's done it again. He's found the back of the net and he goes to cheer with the fans. He's making the Sutton United fans happy. What a great goal there. 1-0. And that's a goal in the 31st minute. It's for one goal in one match. We know you scored more than that, I believe. But hopefully with updates, the names start appearing on kits. Here's Ed Shea. Good tackle. Give me Bellini, please. Thank you, game. We know you like picking players near the ball. Said no fucker ever that plays FIFA. That's always been an ongoing issue with FIFA, in not letting you pick players near the ball. Good body check. Oh, Hayes round his man like he won even there. And he hits the upright. That first touch was absolutely dreadful. That first touch, how heavy that was. It's like he's playing football in wellies. Oh, and finally, a goalkeeper that doesn't just constantly do short balls. Finally, a tackle! I thought the players forgot how to do it. Keep running, Hayes, keep running. Long ball in. Headed effort. Over the bar there. Real unlucky there. Was a good header. Could have gone in top bins. Could have gone in the top bins. Didn't, though. Didn't. So there we go, half time whistles being blown. But what are the fitness levels? That's what I'm worried about. Fitness of these lads. Oh, jeez, look at that. Gee, Crook, Hayes, Dunlop, Edsher, Bellini, Davies, Powell. They're all knackered. Absolutely knackered. And Powell, you're a striker. How the heck can you play a left back and be happy with it? Has the pace, though. Look at him go. How's his crossing? Let's have a look. That was a not a bad crossing, in all fairness. Not a bad cross. And, uh, boys, you, you really need to show some awareness, because uh, <laughs> that was ridiculous how easy they were able to just get through. Get through. Oh, Guri from Brighton. Or to Brighton. I don't bloody know. Good tackle. Can't keep the ball. Right, we've got all these players around one of theirs and we just can't get the fucking ball. Come on now. What's going on here? Alright, Edsha. Tackled there from the Blackpool man. That's not the ball I wanted. I wanted to pass the ball through the centre. But for some reason it wouldn't do it. But it doesn't matter. Young Dunlop, 23, having different ideas. It's like, no, the ball is going in the back of the net. And I'm going to be the one to do it. All right, Ed Sheer. We'll bring you off. Bring on Vera. Keeper shouldn't be beaten at his near post. Shouldn't be beaten at his near post that easy. He needs to be uh, tightening up. It uh, doesn't help, though, that his back line did let him down slightly on that one. All right, Hayes. You need to get in a tackle to stop him from running down that wing. Like that. There we go. That's what I want to see from you, Hayes. Good ball. Too close to the keeper. Far too close to the keeper. 
Oh, awareness, guys! We've got all them bodies in there! How are we not able to pick a player near the ball? That is ridiculous. We wasn't really having many options there, but you know what? Let's bring McNeil on. Reggie uh, Hayes can come off. Hayes has had a pretty good game, gotta say. Pretty good game there. Oh, nice back heel. And Dunlop run in. Fuck me, you're about as stagnant as dry water and you can't get dry water. Fucking ridiculous, this coding for the players. Run, run, run. They just don't want to make fucking runs. Oh, good tackle there from Davies. Uh, can somebody... Bellini, you're right near the ball. What footballer in their right fucking mind doesn't have the thought to go, you know what, I'm near the ball. I best chase that ball. I'm a footballer. Do they fuck? You're a footballer. There's AI. It's a PC. Fucking use it. You can code all these other games, but you fuck up FIFA every year. Great. Well, we all know what's thought of first. Ultimate Team. <coughs> it's like ever since they brought out Ultimate Team, it's like, like they've just told, let Korea just fucking die. Like, Korea mode, they've just let it die. And that's fucked up. Because what got them to where they are now? Korea mode. I'm at 39! McNeil! Fucking wake up! He was right near the ball! Get it away from my goal, I don't fucking trust you. Alright, Crook is absolutely knackered. Come on! That was a good shot. Oh, wild there from Bellini as the, uh, the, the full-time whistle goes. There's me saying half-time whistle. Don't want another 45 minutes of that one. So, we only have 55% possession to their 45. 10 shots to their one. 46 completed passes to their 69. 31 tackles to their 18. And, oh, look at Crook with a great performance. The performers, look at it, Crook with an 8.9, Dunlop with a 9.3. Definitely didn't feel like a 9.3. Who knows though, who knows? Didn't feel like a, didn't feel like that though. Oh, so, oh, Powell. Powell, Powell, Powell. Hey boss, I know people have been talking about the position you're playing me in. They will do whatever it takes basically. If you want him to play as a left back, he will do. Literally, Malcolm Powell, you played left back in one game. One game. One game. <laughs> uh, Cartonen is absolutely gutted that he didn't play in that game, but we needed to rest him. He is a main player. Look, Cartonen, 68 overall. Kadosa, 68. These boys are getting there, they're getting good. They're getting good. And honestly, I'm thinking about selling that goalkeeper Samuel because Shenouda. Kittens are awake. <laughs> um, I don't know, though. I don't know. We, do. we have a lot of money. 13 million. And the youngsters are still 15. Can't bring any in yet, but they are all growing pretty nicely. You're not really going up, are you? In all fairness, but... 
Oh, hello, kitten. Who are you? Hello. So we've got a transfer offer here for Pyrenean. Are you serious? They have offered us 1.4 million. It's worth 1.5. And I mean, if we sold him at 1.4, the club, club would possibly take about 600 of that, 600,000 of that away from us. And we'd only get like 800,000 for Pyrenean. No, you're not having Pyrenean. Simple as that. We're not selling him. He's not for sale. But I am thinking about selling the keeper. Samuel. Yes, he's 17 years old. 69 overall. But Shenouda has the potential to be special. How much are you worth? You're only worth 1.9 million. How in your right mind are you only worth 1.9 million? And Shenouda is lower and worth more. I mean, Stuart did brilliant. Mm, I'm going to add Samuel to the loan list. Uh, is the guy still in... Is Pineda still in the team? Of course he is, buddy. Of course he is. Uh, because he wasn't getting enough game time because of how good Piranen and... When we go down, we'll keep going. Because of how good Piranen and... Where are you? Bancola have been... We have sent a lot of our other strikers out on loan 11. The likes of Logan, Pineda, he's on a, out on loan. We've loaned out Hunter. Uh, Crook is soon going to be going out on loan. I mean, the boys, the boys do well. And you, I want to develop Malcolm Powell as a left-back, because apparently he could play there. Four weeks to train you as a left-back. Yes, please. Oh, hello, kitten. But yeah, Pineda is still here. And there we go, confirmation that Jensen has been sold. Look at this. We sold him for 640000 The board have only given us 450000 of that transfer fee. That is, uh, that is bad. But, to make it exciting, what we're going to do is we're going to sim this match. See how these guys get on. Let's uh, let's simulate it. Let's uh, see what these guys can do. Here we go. They're having a long... Uh, long Ioma, Mouse, Walsh, Robson, Sanders, Fiorini, Sjornsson, Adekulun, Hopper and Scully. We are the team in yellow. Taking on Lincoln City in the white. Who's going to be the first to strike? That's going to be the question. Possibly Lincoln, with uh, how attacking they can be. But we are getting forward on this left-hand side at the minute. Good ball in. Oh, really, really unlucky there. The number nine now on the ball, Hopper. Oh, good defence there from, uh, from Sutton. We do seem to be giving the ball away in easy options. Oh, here they come on that left-hand side. Real unlucky there from Lincoln. Real unlucky. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Good passing and move. Number eight. Oh, and a save from the keeper. That was a perfect move. Perfect move there from Sutton United. Showing that we can stay competitive even if we sim the match. A woeful effort there from... Uh, is it Adelakun? Adelakun? I, I don't bloody know. The number 14. Uh, good passing around at the minute. Good passing around. Bancole with a shot. There we go though. Kidosa getting on the score sheet for Sutton United in the 27th minute. <coughs> 
So it is Sutton United that strike first in a simulated match. Uh, showing Lincoln City that they're not any, not a real pushover. We do have a goal threat when pushing forward. Oh, here we go, 37, 43. Come on, Piranen. Just unable to pull the trigger there by the seams of it. And a waste there from Lincoln. Come on, boys. Good pass and move. Oh, Bancole was making the chase by the looks of it. Look, oh, look at that. Cartonen finding the back of the net. These boys, even simulating, can... Uh, Find the back of the net. It's two nil to Lincoln. Uh, two nil to Sutton United against Lincoln. But hopefully they don't get complacent. Like we say, it is an issue of fitness uh, for these boys. Uh, looks like they're going to get a good chance. Doesn't matter though. Doesn't matter. Half time. Team management is what's needed. <sighs> what can we do? What can we do? I uh, don't really, really want to make too many changes, but let's bring uh, you Daniels up for Mao. He is pretty tired. want to save some sort of fitness. And Dragovic uh, for Davies on this right-hand side. He can't really play there, but we're going to put him there. And let's bring Hayes on that left-hand side as well. Uh, your team really improved, Mr. P. Nice. Go, Sue! Yeah. So there we go. We'll carry on the second half in the simulated version. Uh, see how these boys can do. We have made a couple of changes. Hopefully that doesn't impact how well they was doing in the first half. But it looks like, like I've always said, fitness and stamina is the real issue for these boys. Good save there from the keeper. Wasn't far, though. Wasn't far. Do need to try and keep pressing, defending well. And it's still in and around the box. Defensively. Oh, the number 14. 37 Piranen to Bancole. Back to Piranen. Swinging it over for Yates. Oh, far too easy. Reggie Hayes, should I say. I keep saying Yates. I don't know why. Need my head testing. Here comes number 11. Nice save from the keeper there to palm it away. Lincoln having four shots. How can they have four shots from three chances? I, I don't understand that. We have had five shots, three chances. Um, honestly, game, I don't know how you work that one out, but... That's really weird, but I do agree though, 11. The team has really improved. You've seen the likes of when we first started this. The players that we have now. How well they've actually done. Oh, come on, come on. Is that a goal? Yes, it is. Come on. Bancole. Finding the back of the net. We've had six shots. And we put three of them in the back of the net. Lincoln's had five shots. And not got any goals, but that could change. Number seven, number 14, seven. Oh, one look at there. Bancole, looks like it has forced a corner. Easy to clear the way. Swing it back into Cartonen. Back to Cartonen. Uh, swung ball in, number 15. And there it is, back of the net. Kidosa getting on the score sheet. Even during a simulation, the boys have shown they can get the job done. It's 87 minutes nearly. 4 nil. We've had eight shots. Put four of them in the back of the net. Looks like uh, Sutton United could be getting that clean sheet. But will Lincoln get a late goal? They are pushing forward. But no. There we go. The boys playing well. 4 nil. Kidosa getting two goals today, as well as Cartonen and Bancole getting on the score sheet. That was really, really nice to see the boys play really well there. And the main reason we did simulate that match is because we can have another cup tie with uh, Lincoln. Bit weird, but okay. So there we go, confirmation. Declan Crook has agreed a one-year loan move to Shanghai Shenhua. 
Okay. And Prothero has gone out to Mjandalen IF. Getting these good players that I want to keep around, but they need game time. We need to give them that game time. Uh, Piranen transfer offer. Uh, Piranen Inter Milan from Italy want Piranen. Northampton want Piranen. I'm sorry, but I am rejecting your offer. And Inter Milan from Italy. Yes, he does deserve this move. But he's a really, really pivotal player for us. Delegate, you want him, you're going to give me 4 million. I'm playing hardball and I'm not going to sell him for any less than 3.8 million. Is he worth that realistically? No. But to the club, is he worth that? Yes. I'm not going to sell him for any less than 3.8 million. Not happening. Uh, De Santos, we've got an offer in here for De Santos uh, from Vagalta Sendai. We, we are struggling for left backs, so I'm not going to sell you. I'm really, really hoping that Inter Milan do not say yes to that offer. Because if they do, we're going to lose Piranen. And that would be devastating. Devastating. Negotiations broke down. Good. Because I will only sell Piranen if it is an extreme, extreme offer so Carabao Cup who do we actually play after after you Wigan whoa that is a massive massive game I'm um, not really fussed about the Carabao Cup in all fairness so do you know what we're gonna play the second team we'll put the second team out and uh, See how they do. We will just quick sim it. Powell, Pan, Dubé, Davies for Davies. Um, Shenouda in between the sticks. De Santos, you're our registered left back, so we will put Ed Shear in there. Uh, you're knackered, so we'll put Driscoll in there. McNeil and Gigi up front. We are going to simulate this match as well against Lincoln. I am going to turn my camera off and have a quick cigarette. Whilst we simulate this match, we saw how well the boys did against Lincoln last time, but that was the first team. How can these boys do against it? We do have, still have the likes of Powell, 60 overall. Guy up front, 64. McNeil, 61. Driscoll. We've got some very, very talented players in there. But, uh, yeah, I'm not really interested in cup match especially this one I do want to focus on the league and we've taken Wigan on next I want to save all our big players for that game so that is what we're gonna do let's simulate this match see how these guys get on <laughs> we took them on last time and the boys absolutely dominated I thought the game froze then I was gonna say please don't so here we go, kick off again against Lincoln. It is a different team rolling out today for Lincoln. Shinuda between the sticks with the back line of Davies, Dubé, Pan and Powell. In midfield we have Etcher, Bellini, Bisilgitwa and Driscoll. And up top today we have McNeil and Guy. How will these boys fare in today's game? We've seen the number ones get the job done and there you go Driscoll getting on the score sheet early on in this game not even 10 minutes and uh, Sutton United finding the back of the net in this cup game I think it's just nice just to give these boys some of the reserves a bit of match time in a cup good defensive work there from Dubai the number 39 it just gives these boys something to go for, doesn't it, really? Getting them in that cup game. Number 18, taking a strike. Really, really unlucky there from Guy. And a 
again setting up options. Dubai with a good tackle. Can we swing the ball in? Very, very unlucky, but it is a corner. Easily dealt with. Number 18 chasing on it, and there it is. Guy getting on the score sheet. It looks like the first team and the <laughs> and the reserves are getting the job done today. Look at these boys. They are doing brilliant, but again, fitness being an issue. The number three, Davies. The number 16, Powell. They are getting tired. Possibly at halftime make some changes, but do you make changes to a winning formula? Let us like Lincoln are oh, pressing a pretty high line and a good save from Shenouda there. The young Egyptian keeper never lets us down. Oh, and there we go. Lincoln have found the back of the net. It was only a matter of time. Hopper getting their goal. No clean sheet today for Sutton United. So, there we go. Um, they did really well, honestly. They've done well. They've done well. But, again, fitness being the massive issue. So, we'll put, you know, we'll put Daniels on the right. And we'll put uh, Nodal on the left. It doesn't matter. As long as we've got powerful physical bodies in there, we should be all right. We do have the one goal lead. <laughs> So hopefully these boys cannot concede anymore. We have made the changes to those two boys there. Uh, let's play balance. Let's go back to fitness. See how these boys are doing. So let's have a quick look at ratings to see how the boys are doing. Look at this. We've got Bissil Gitwa. Doing pretty well on uh, the 7.3 of the way there. There you go. Cheesy, cheesy goal. Hopper getting on the score sheet again for Lincoln. Fitness is always and has always been the issue uh, with these uh, Sutton boys. And that was a good ball in. Good ball in. Press and play. Press and play. Real unlucky. Real unlucky. Keep pressing, boys. Keep pressing for that winning goal. Real unlucky there, real unlucky to be 2-0 up uh, for Lincoln to claw themselves back. But again, it is always about the stamina. The Lincoln, <laughs> the Lincoln City players are going to have far better fitness. And that seemed like a good save from Shenouda. Looks like a headed effort over. Good ball in, good ball in. Oh, and it looked like that one went over. Could have been a late winning goal there for Sutton United. But again, pressing forward, Lincoln City. Good pass and moving there. Good pass and moving, but nicely cut out from the defence. Good ball to 24, 19, 21, 18. Pass and move. Oh, a nice ball down that right-hand side. A nice ball in, but it was a wasted chance. Need to be doing better with those chances. Lincoln again pressing for that winning goal, but very, very, very unlucky there. Let's advance. Let's see how the boys get on. Let's go across to ratings. Lincoln City missed. And Sutton United miss. Hopper steps up. And misses. Driscoll stepping up. Gets it in the back of the net for Driscoll. Ada Kalun Kun steps up. Puts the ball in the back of the net. Edger stepping up now. Yes, he finds the back of the net. Archibald stepping up now. 
And that is a goal. McNeil steps up for Sutton. Oh no, Bishop. Sounds like a good save. Gee stepping up. Finds the penalty. It's all now down to their man. He needs to score. The Lincoln City man. Unfortunate. Hopper. Very, very unlucky. Gee getting us the win. We win 3-2 on penalties. That was a very, very tense match indeed. But the boys again showing they can do it. That was really, really good from them. So, here we go. Barry McNeil. Hey, boss, I know people... Ugh, about your position. Whatever. There we have a transfer offering for Daniels. Not happening. No way are we getting rid of Daniels. Not happening. The players we want to sell are already on the transfer list. The players we want alone already on the loan list. So let's have another just quick look at the countries we are scouting. San Marino, Burkina Faso and Honduras. It shouldn't be too long now and the scouts will be back. But we are soon going to be taking on Wigan Athletic. But uh, this is going to be a difficult test. Where do Wigan Athletic find themselves in the league? They are currently struggling right now. They're in 19th place. After five games played, they've won one, drew two, and lost two. This could be a good way for these boys to try and push. We have, after five games, we've got 15 points. Hull a second after five games. They're on 10. So we can afford to quick sim this match. Let's quick sim it, see how the guys do. How did we do? 1-1. One, one. They managed to get the equalising goal on the 79th minute. That is upsetting. That is upsetting. It's fine though. Here we go again. Standings. What is this? The FA Cup. Uh, we have a loan offer for Powell. Nope, we're currently training you to be a left back. So we will cancel that one. Uh, probably will take him off the loan list eventually. Papa John's Trophy. Um, honestly, I'm not really fussed about the Papa, Papa John's Trophy. So we will send these guys out, see how they do. Let's just quick sim it. Because if we are knocked out, it will give the players more chance and more fitness. Look at that, 62nd minute and 65th. Real, real unlucky there from the boys to get knocked out of the Papa John's Trophy. But it does give us extra chance, more fitness. Uh, yeah, you'll do it for me. Hey, Gaffer. You know how I get frustrated when I can't play regularly. I've got you in mind, don't worry. Jeez. Vera, loan offer. Loan to buy. Uh, no, I just want to loan him out, thank you. I don't know. It's like, as soon as you put players on the loan list, it's like, oh, well, I always want the option to loan to buy. No, get out of it. So there we go. We've got 10 hours left on the transfer window. What's going to come through? Vera loan agreement. They have accepted it. Okay, let's accept that. Hopefully he goes out and gets some good game time uh, with them. Fingers crossed. You never can tell. <laughs> <clears throat> Valencia have sealed the deal for Laurie Santi... Okay. Uh, gotta go now, Mr. P. I'll be preparing food for lunch. Nice. Uh, enjoy your food and, and uh, have a good look with the games and have fun, buddy. I will try, my friend. I will try. Thank you for stopping by there, Eleven. I truly do appreciate it, my friend, and uh, enjoy your food, and uh, I hope you have a great stream later on. Hope all goes well for you, my friend. 
Nope, we don't want anybody. We are keeping Saeed. He is the captain. We are keeping the captain. Uh, whoa, what the, the hell? Did you see that? That is obviously another error there for EA to fix. Look at that. Transfer offer for team name A. BBR10 from... <laughs> Fix your game, EA. Fix your game. Come on now, it's not difficult. You create games for a living. There we go, camera's back on. Burn your eyeballs. <laughs> so confirmation, Vera has agreed he's one year loan move to FC Goa. Gal, go, gay. I don't bloody know, but he's agreed to go there. And another offer for Daniels. Oh, the young Jamaican. He doesn't really have that much of an impact for the club. 1.4 million. They've offered us 1.5. Um... I'm going to accept it. I'm going to accept it. If he chooses to go, great. He's played well, he deserves a loan he deserves that move if he gets it. Rather than just being sat on our bench all the time. If he chooses to go, fantastic. Good for him. Good for him. There we go, he has agreed. Uh, we sold him Daniels for one point five million. We got one point one million of that. And uh Kawasaki Fantale want uh young Stuart on loan, the young goalkeeper. Uh, a two-year loan deal. I don't know if this move will go through on time. I honestly don't think it'll go through. With three hours left, if it does go through, I will be amazed. A Samuel transfer offer. Wigan have offered us 2.4 million. 2.4 million. Delegate, I want more than that. I want to start the offer at 6.5, and I'm not going to sell him for any less than 5.2. He's 69 overall, and he's only 17 years old. You want my keeper, buddy, I'm telling you, you're going to have to pay big, big money to prize him away from my hands. Uh, negotiations break down. Good. A gi loan offer. I'm going to reject that. Uh, I didn't mean to reject it. End negotiations. You're not having him on loan. I pressed back. I don't know why it put me in there. Okay. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like the uh, Stuart deal loan went through. <sighs> Sad to hear, but... Is what it is, but let's have a look at our current youth squad at the moment. All still 15, and wow, Gonchadov, you have dropped way down. I'm sorry, buddy, but you have to go. Mambo, you can play left back, though. That's the thing, you can play left back. Uh, we need somebody that we can train to be a left back. You're a striker, six foot three. Do we really need all these strikers? Larrabee, French. <sighs> There we go, Stuart Loan has been... They ran out of time. Ran out of time. It's Freiburg want you on loan. A loan with the option to buy. I don't... 
I... <laughs> The, the, the money they're offering for this player, I mean, it's sickening. <laughs> right, let's quick sim this match. We're going to quick sim a couple of games. Just try and get through the season. So, G and Carton and getting on the score sheet against Wickham. They have 51% possession and more chances and shots. But we managed to get the two goals. That is not bad going. But we are waiting for the old scout reports to come back from the three countries. We have scouted. Hopefully it shouldn't be too long now. And the scouts should be... Oh, there we go. I'm just saying that. And the scout re scouts have come back. But uh, here we go. Let's uh, just have a quick glimpse through. Uh, we'll bring you in. We won't bring you in. We will have a, a deeper look at all these players uh, once we get into the old youth system. Um... Not really bringing back any defensive, uh, central defender p players, but hopefully that can change. Gomez, no, Conare, Digne. Okay. Uh, wow, he's bringing back some pretty poor players. Babiri, six foot five though. Jeez, you're a mountain. There's a left back. Saar can play CDM and centre back. <laughs> Development plan. Let's try and turn you into a centre back. Two weeks. Alright. Oliveira from Honduras. Another winger, though. Do we really need another winger? Are you fast? Yes, you're fast. Let's try and train you into be a left back. 55 weeks. Jeez. Uh, Bruno, 5'9. Saar, so you're training to be a centre back. 5'7. And that's that Mambo, you're going to be out the door. Paz. Bruno. Oh, now you're going to have to go. We've got to filter these players out. Great weak foot. Great pace. Let's train you to be a left back. How long will it, is it going to take you? 72 weeks. Alright. Um... We've got some really good players in the youth system. Duarte, six foot two, forty-eight overall. You're just not going to make the court. When we've got fifty pluses in here, so you are training to be a centre back. So <clears throat> hopefully he does all right. Six foot four though. Promote him to the senior team. Why not? Oliveira will train you to be a left back. Dien. We need centre backs. We need centre backs. And that's going to be the big, big issue. Centre backs. A couple of left backs. We are training that striker, though, for that position. So hopefully he might be able to do it. But you never, never know. You never know. Uh, certain. Ducky and Rook, really? I thought we was doing well. <laughs> but, okay. Whatever. So, how are we doing? 19 points. Alright, let's crack on. Let's carry on. Gee loan offer. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to take him off the loan list now. Uh, wait, why are you constantly putting me in here? I'm saying end negotiations. Why is it... Why is it constantly putting me in there now? Hoffman, I'm very pleased with your attitude. I've always known we were a proper team player. You're doing great. Whatever. Uh, I've been dreaming about this happening. I know there's more to come from you. We are training you to be a centre-back. Hopefully he does well. 
So, we've got four points to play with. Let's see how these boys do against Crew Alexandra. We will quick sim it, just to give it a bit of a challenge. Well, I was going to quick sim it. Apparently, Mr. P does not know what quick sim means. Ah, dear. Let's uh, jump to result. Nil nil. We, whoa, 30% possession. They were all over us. And for us to get a draw, that's slightly frustrating, really. Slightly frustrating. Uh, I've got you in mind. Oh, he's getting angry that he's not getting game time. Oh, he's not getting game time. I'm going to get game time. Getting game time. Oh, wait there. I saw one of our players. What was that? Clean sheet leader, Eugenio Samuel. He's worth two million now. Okay, okay. So here we go, as uh, the boys are going to be taking on Rotherham. Let's quick sim this one. See how they get on. We won 3-2. That is beautiful. Bancole, Hoffman and Cartonen getting on the score sheet. Getting us the win in that game. That is fantastic to see. But what we're going to do is we're going to recall these scouts. Because I forgot. Here we go. If there's anybody still here in chat, or if you're watching this on YouTube, get in the comment sections. Let me know. What country do you want scouted? Let me know. Put it in the comment section. And we'll scout that country. Power loan offer. I need to take you off the loan list as well. Reject. Not loaning him out. Not loaning you out. I need to take him off of the loan list. Um, wow, Pan's already gone up to 60. Nice. These boys doing well. Davies, you're not really doing fantastic. Ed Shit, you're doing alright, aren't you? Eh? How tall are you? Six foot one. And you can actually play as a centre back. Let's actually develop you and train you to be a centre back, because that will help. Uh, you can actually be a left back. Oh, you can train to be a left back, Edge. Four weeks. There we go. He's six foot one. Yeah, but he can do the job. Start your training to be a centre back because you're six foot four. Some of the players will go. The likes of Potter, when he comes back, he will be going. Vera, possibly the same. Hart, he's been out online for a while now, hasn't gone up. That's the problem. Russell may be finding his way out the door. Hayes training to become a left back because he's just very versatile. Prothero, you do need to start doing well, buddy. Um, Gee, remove from loan list. Powell, remove from loan list. So, how are the boys doing? Let's uh, carry on. Sutton keep winning. Yeah, we're trying. We're not doing bad, are we? Samuel loan agreement, short-term loan for is it Freiburg? No. <laughs> Alright, so Powell, now that you've changed your mind, don't make me regret it. Now that you've changed your mind, maybe you've got what it takes. Maybe. I mean, if we do end up selling either Piranen or Bancole, we do have Guy sat here and ready to go, so. Could be a good thing. Could be a good thing. Um, Alright, well, let's start switching this up to the plays that are actually better. Um, Schnuder there. Hayes, Davies. 
McNeil. McNeil, let's bring you in. Hmm. 61, 61. Who's the better player? Dribbling, defensive. Dragovic is the, is the better player. That's kind of weird, but okay. We'll uh, leave that as it is then. Don't break a winning formula. So we are still five points in front. Uh, let's quick sim this game against Charlton. I can't see us getting a win. Oh, Piranin and Saeed the skipper. Getting us the equalising goal. They had eight shots. Eight shots. Eight shots. Sars position change, here we go, from the CDM. Uh, he's currently on 43 rated. Let's go on to his development plan. And let's change position, 43 to 46. Okay, not bad, not bad, that'll do. Six foot four. Sheffield, was it Sheffield United? No, 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 no. The thing is, I said no. Why do you click on reject and put me in here? I said no. No point in coming all the way down here to my office when I said no. Fuck off. Get out. Get out of my office. So, here we go. Aston Villa. Same again. Not really fussed about the cup. Let's see how these boys are doing. Piran, 65, and call it 64. Wow, these boys are playing well. But let's see how they get on against a strong Aston Villa. R Villa Park. 3-3, three, three. we won on penalties. Hoffman getting us the winning penalty. Oh! They had 59% possession, 7 shots. It was 3-3. Three, three. We beat Aston Villa on penalties. How? That was through a quick simulation. We beat Aston Villa on penalties. Right, I'm going to have to take Samuel. I'm going to have to take you off of this uh, loan list because... Something's got to give. Something's got to give. But I just think, I just honestly, I just think he's just too good for the team. I'm just trying to get him up, get some game time under his belt, because I don't want to lose Shenouda. He's just been absolutely phenomenal for us. Unless we send Shenouda out on loan. He needs the game time. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't want to put you on the transfer list. That probably piss him off. Add to loan list. Oh, jeez. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Right, so here we go. We're at home. Old and athletic. Quick sim. And we lost. 2-0. Ooh, that's going to sting. That's going to be three points uh, dropped. But there we go. N I've not really been enjoying my football. Well, I know you've not been enjoying your football. I'm glad you're actually looking to loan me out. Yeah, a loan move could help your career, buddy. Samuel, happy you changed your mind. Don't make me regret it. Wow, 70 rated? The goalkeeper is now 70 rated. Samuel is 70 rated. Well, we're far too good for this league. No, we brought these players from nowhere, made them into stars. And a Stuart loan. We are going to delegate. You're not going to have the option to buy him. Oh, I was going to try to see if I'd take him on a two-year loan deal, but that's not happening, is it? All right. 
Shenouda, loan offer. Defensa Wajustika, Justia. Two year loan. Okay, okay. Two year loan. But if we need to recall him, we can do. It's fine. You know, Leon, uh, want, uh, want him on loan. You are not having the option to buy, but we'll put him on a two year loan deal. He needs the game time. He's been phenomenal. Phenomenal for us. Players on international duty. Oh, Cartonen and Piranen have been called up for international duty for Finland. Nice. So, quick sim again. Taking on Sheffield Wednesday. We are at home at the VBS Community Stadium. How will we get on? They are a very, very strong team. Oh, and they get the equalising goal in the 79th minute. Are oh, Huddersfield going to overtake us in the league? Mm, they did. Unlucky. You're still training to be a left back, Paz. Mm. French, you're now 16, 52 rated. We've got too many strikers. Sorry, French, but we, we've got to let you go. 53 rated, got to let you go. 52 rated, I'm sorry, Oliveira. Dieng, got to let you go. 51 rated. Canare, 56, 60, 55, 55, I think you've got to be over 55 rating now to to get here, because we're having to, you know, loan players out that are really good, I mean... Okay, he's agreed, uh, Shinuda has agreed his two-year loan deal. Uh, with defense uh, um, at the beginning of the transfer window and return to the club as soon as it expires. Okay, uh, Luton have agreed a uh, loan deal with Stewart. Okay, short-term loan deal. Okay, okay. We'll take that. We'll take it. But that does see us sat in third position, but we are taking on Shrewsbury. Let's auto replace. Uh, who is it put in? Nordal. Really? Put Nordal in? Um. We've got better players. Why have you put them in? Uh, let's put Dunlop in for Nordal. I don't know why it's had a brain fart and done that, but if we've got better players sat on the bench, then don't put the other ones in. So what's the scoreline going to be? 3-2, Bancole and Kidosa getting the two goals. Not a bad turnout, was it? Mm. Fantastic. Oh, dirty bean water. Gotta love it. Germany winners against rivals. Okay. Stuart Loan. He has agreed a loan move with Luton. It's a position change. Oh, that is fantastic. That is fantastic. So here we go. We should be uh, turning him from a CDM to a left back from 60 rated to 60. I'm actually impressed with that. That's pretty good, pretty good. So we now have another decent left back there. He can play left back, CDM, centre mid and centre back. Very, very versatile players. Great. I love that. Love that you now get the option in, in FIFA 22 for player training and positions. That is really good. But we are now taking on Morecambe. Difficult test. Can the boys get the job done, get the three points? No, they can't. 
Carton and with a goal in the 41st uh, minute. Will Dig getting the equalising goal in the 83rd. That's not what you want to be seeing from the boys. Just want to make it a little bit harder. But uh, Huddersfield, these are first in the league now. How will we fare against them? Only just managing to get on the losing one. But Bancole getting both goals. They had seven shots. I only managing to get three goals. And considering we only had four shots and we scored two of them. With 44% possession. I will take that all day. I will take that. I will take that. But where does that leave us? Alright, so we are four points now behind Huddersfield. Four points behind. Sutton clash with Huddersfield. Yeah, a bit late for that, ain't you? Bit late. Bit late. <laughs> Alright, so this is a quick sim. How are we going to go against Burton Albion? We win. Cartonen and Bancole getting the score sheet. We had three shots and put two of them in the back of the net. They had four shots. Boys doing well. Boys doing well. But where does that put us in the league? table round four against Chelsea oh hey boss I know people have been talking about the position you're playing me you can be even better <laughs> but how is his training getting on I know we are training Carton and to be a centre mid so he sits into that role nicely but how is he actually doing let's have a quick look Carton and Development plan. 31 weeks left. Okay, 31 weeks left. 31 weeks. Carabao Cup round four against Chelsea. What have we got to lose? What have we got to lose? And we only just lose on the 83rd minute. How did we get goal, two goals against Chelsea? We had four shots, put two of them in the back of the net. They had eight shots and only managed to put three past us. Wow. Wow. That, that is really, really good. I'm, I'm proud of the boys for that. I think they did bloody amazing. Uh, Liverpool three, Brentford one. Well, Brentford did well to get one past them. So we're still same third at the minute. We are now taking on Plymouth. They find themselves in fifth position. Hopefully the guys can get the job done today. Yes, they can. Hoffman in the 28th minute and Mao in the 69th minute getting the winning goals there for Sutton United. Really good to see. Really good to see. Standings, Blackpool, Morecambe, Sutton. Hmm. I don't quite get what's happening there, but... Alright. So there we go. Oh, look at that. Lou's gone up to a 56. Okay, Lou. Okay, you've got our attention. <laughs> He's definitely got our attention. Wolfsburg defeated by Man City. Okay. Players called up for international duty. Vano Piranen has been called up. It doesn't seem like uh, Cartonen got the call up that time. Pretty unlucky there for him. Pretty unlucky. So is this Morecambe in the Papa John's Trophy? Let's throw the twos out in this one. See how they get on. Piranen is going to be up top. Hoffman at left back. How will he do? You never know, might be alright. And they managed to get the 1 0 win. Of course, they do typical FIFA. You could put out Brazil and still lose. It's alright, though. Look at that. Bancole's quality performances. Quality. 
So we find ourselves in third place. Honestly, I don't think the boys are really doing too bad, but... You know what? They're doing all right. It looks like he's 67 rated again already. I mean, doing phenomenal. We've got some good plays in the middle of the park as well, I've got to admit. So, Kidosa and Mao! Mountain Mao getting on the score sheet. That's, that's honestly, again, really, really good to see. The boy's doing well. And Huddersfield just flying away with it at the minute. Flying away with it. But we are in second place. We are in second place. The boys, it's getting exciting times now. And oh, Campbell grabs October Player of the Month, I think one of ours should. How dare they? Uh, Saeed, hope you don't mind. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, apparently the team's upset because we're not meeting expectations. We're second in League One. I mean, what what more do you want? What more do you want? How can you get two goals scored in the 67th minute? FIFA? EA? Come on. That is just downright ridiculous. There should be no way that a team can... Well, either team can score on the same minute. It's just not possible. It's really weird. But we managed to get the one. Hoffman, Hoffman and Piranen. Hoffman getting the double there. That's actually <laughs> really bloody good. <coughs> so quick sim in some of these games. It seems like the boys can really, really seem to get the job done. So we're going to be taking on Gillingham or Gillingham, however you, you see it. But uh, yeah, let's go. Taking on Gillingham, what will the score line be? We lose to Gillingham. Gillingham. So we can put out a fantastic performance against Chelsea, but we can't beat Gillingham. Yeah, I think something needs to be sorted out there because that's just fucking weird. I don't see how. But uh, So Powell, the striker, can play left back. What's it going to be? From 60 to 62. Now have another registered left back. <laughs> and you can play striker. Okay. Uh, let's have a quick look at development. How are we getting on Davies? Doing alright, isn't he? Davis and Davies. Bellini. You need to go out on loan, I think. Nordal. Really? I think you just need to be sold. You need to be sold. Driscoll. Put you on the loan list. Mao, no way are we selling you. Hayes, no chance. Piranangi. Dubai, loan list. Five foot six. Not having you as a centre back. There is no way. No way we're putting you as a centre back. Right, FA Cup time. And we've got some words of wisdom for the boys. Bellini, I'm glad we agree putting you out on loan. Nod, darling. <laughs> I'm glad we agree put him on the transfer list. Uh, Basilgra, he's glad that I've put him up for sale as well. So am I, just filtering out the players. Filtering them out. He doesn't fail to shine, it's just we've now got better players. Um, I would try and get him out on loan, but is he really going to be a better player when he comes back? That's the thing. Oh, here we go. A Votra Zakes is now 16 and can be promoted. That is brilliant. Just want to see some more jump from these lads. Especially Lulu. Could be very, very uh, influential. 
Well, here we go as we take on Wigan. We're away from home. It is an FA Cup match. I'm not really fussed about it. And they managed to get the win with a one goal. So how these boys can take on Chelsea and score two past Chelsea. Um, but, you know, not compete sometimes against other teams. Is slightly weird. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. But we're now taking on Doncaster. Are we going to lose this one? No. Bancole getting us the winning goal in the 90th minute. That's what I want to see from the boys. Press, press and press. Just constant pressure all the time. Bancole's development schedule. Just want to let you know that Bancole has made excellent progress across all elements of most recent development for him. I believe he has now reached all the targets established for him in the plan. I recommend you take a look at his numbers and, of course, use your own judgment so we can perhaps establish performance targets for him. I would suggest we can now aim to develop all of our elements of his game. Let you know I want to discuss his face to face at some point. Alright. Okay. He plays as a striker for us, so I might as well train him to be a striker. He's already playing as one, so... It's like, uh, Ben Coley's probably reached his peak. Which is not a good sign, really. Fucking hell! Jeez, there's my beautiful wife there with the stars. Thank you very much, sweetie. Uh, how did you sleep? How are you feeling? Hope you're feeling a lot better. I really do hope you're feeling a lot better. And thank you very much for those stars, sweetie. It is truly, truly appreciated. Uh, we're going to accept this for offer of 430,000 for uh, Basil Gitwa. Uh, 58, 7017, I know, but we've got bigger, 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 bigger players. So, your boss, I just wanted to say thank you for taking the chance. I'm just glad you came to talk to me, Mr. Captain, man. So, Hull. Slip like shit, feel like shit. I'm sorry, sweetie. Really sorry to hear that. It's not good. Alright, I'm just about to finish the stream, so if you want me to ring you, I can do. We're not doing bad though. Still right behind Huddersfield. We're we're right on their heels. We are six points ahead of Blackpool. Six points ahead. No doll. We will accept that offer. We'll let let him go. Need to filter out some of these players now, especially the ones that some of the ones that we have out on loan. Do need to filter through. So, there we go. Basil Gitwa has been sold. He's soon to be leaving when the transfer window opens. And we have a loan offer for Driscoll. We are not doing the loan with the option to buy. You can have him on a two-year loan deal. Take it or leave it. No, need to uh, get up and get around for work. Okie dokie. And uh, the like there from my beautiful wife. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, beautiful. Truly do appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> I need help. Uh, so we've got another loan offer here. Uh, Ali, you're not having it with a loan to buy. You're not buying him. <laughs> if I wanted to anybody to buy him, I would have put him on the transfer list. Not happening. So here we go, taking on Doncaster again. We are away from home, but the boys putting in a big performance. Can these guys get the job done? Yes, they can. Hoffman and Pyrenum with two goals. 55% possession. Very tasty. We are looking, of course, at Huddersfield to try and drop points. But it doesn't look like they're dropping points at the minute, but we are... Smashing home some 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 really good. Uh, I'm not selling Dube. He's a good player, but I 
and I don't want to sell him. I've put him on the loan offer. <laughs> Bugger off! Bugger off! <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Let's crack on. No, there we go. Has been sold. As soon as the transfer window opens, he will be leaving. Driscoll, two-year loan deal. They have accepted it. That's great. Gets him out on loan. Gives him the game time he needs. But it looks like we are doing a good job so far. Good job so far. Driscoll loan rejected. Did he really reject the loan? Did he really, really reject that loan offer? Dubai loan to buy. You're not having a loan to buy option. Not happening. Not happening. So there we go, taking on Gillingham again. Last time we played these, they did beat us. Can we get revenge at home? Wow, it looks like Gillingham are our kryptonite. Only just managing to get the second goal in the 79th minute. This is one thing I don't understand. So, seven points now behind Huddersfield. It doesn't look like we're going to be uh, lifting the, the title this year, but... It's alright, it's alright. Promotion is the aim of the game, and uh, Quick Simmons seems to be getting us through this season pretty darn quick. And wow, they get the equalising goal in the 70 of odd minute. Wow, we're starting to drop points now. The boys need to pick up their game. We're only five points in front. Most goal investments. Wow, Hoffman. Ooh. Nice. Class A. Nice, I'll take that. So we need three points here away from Warsaw, and we get them. Piranen and Kidosa getting on the score sheet. I'm loving seeing that. These boys are playing out of their skin. And just got loan. He has agreed the two year loan deal with Al Ali. He obviously going to enjoy. The old sunshine heat in the desert over there. So, you squad report. Let's see how Lavery and Lou are getting on. Growing pretty nicely, which is good to see. So, Driscoll leaves on loan. Nordahl has left. Bissel Gitwa has left. Stewart leaves on loan. Shenouda has gone on loan. And trans important transfer information. Not bad. Dubai, here we go. Confirmation Dubai has agreed a two year loan move to Guangzhou FC. And I think I've absolutely had a brain fart and I've loaned out both of our other keepers. Because I'm smart like that. So hopefully <laughs> our main keeper doesn't get an injury. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, he does not get an injury. Well, have we got any games coming up? <coughs> I've got to get ready. Happy streaming. Okay, beautiful. Well, please be safe. Uh, get yourself sorted. Um, just please let me know when you get there so I know you are safe, my dear. Just let me know so I know you're safe. And can you get up and out of the way? Because I don't want that. There we go. As you can see, all these. I'm just letting it do its thing. Letting the players grow naturally. But as you can see, the boys are doing a fantastic job, though. Growing naturally. But Taking on Fleetwood Town now. Here we go. Quick sim time. How will we get on? 2-2. They managed to get the equalising goal in the 86th minute. Seems to be the... Uh, story around here, doesn't it, with that late goal. 
So what's Carton and on about now? Hey boss, people have been talking about the position you're playing me in. You came a couple of weeks ago and spoke to me about that, Carton, and I already know. Already know Ben Yed has signed for Atletico Madrid. Don't want to do that. So there we go. We are going to be taking on Bolton. How will the team do? Let's see how these boys get on against Bolton. We are at home and we win. Kazuma is at the centre-back with a goal in the 36th minute. And Gee getting on the score sheet there in the 82nd minute. The boys are doing all right, aren't they, eh? Doing all right. All right, so let's quickly throw in some saves. I haven't saved it since I started this stream. Always a smart move. Always a smart move. All this progress. Pyrenean transfer off of Villarreal. One in for two million. Villarreal can get lost. 19 years old, 67 overall. He is a man on form. And right now, the boys aren't doing too bad. And a Mao, wow, 59 rated Mao now. Yeah, Mao now. 1-1. One, one. We only just, they scored in the 33rd minute. It seems we seem to be struggling again, struggling against teams that are Mid to low half of the table there. Um, kind of weird. You wouldn't really ex be expecting that, but... These boys need to be kicking it into high gear if they want to be getting pr promoted into the, uh, the championship. But we do see ourselves still in second place. 60 points. We are six points ahead of third place Blackpool. Uh, but uh, Huddersfield look like they are running away with a game in advance. But I will happily take second place. Bancole getting the winning goal in the 84th minute. There we go, like we said. The whole late goal syndrome that normally happens in FIFA. And uh, normally football manager as well. If you've ever played football manager, you'll know exactly what I'm on about. And Gallagher, Connor Gallagher signs for 20 point, oh jeez, that is a lot of money. And Peterborough selling Pim for 1.3 million, nice piece of business there. And Bemba from Wolves to, I don't know who that team are. Mario Gaspar for 8 million from Arsenal to Osasuna, I believe. Upper Meccano from Bayern Munich to Real Madrid. That's a big move, big move. But is he really going to get game time at Real Madrid? That's the thing. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne has gone for 89.4 million to Atletico Madrid. And Cucarella from Brighton, 78.7 to Valencia. That is an, a massive amount of money there for Brighton and Hove Albion. They're going to be hopefully doing well. Pyrenean, 2.6 million. You can suck a fat one. Not happening. He's now up to 68 rated. And flies, will you bugger off? These flies all of a sudden are just crawling out the damn woodwork again. Fuck up. A gee transfer offer. 2.25. Reject. We're not selling our best and upcoming players. There's no point. The only time we'll sell anyone is if... Like we said, if, if 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 it's a stupid high amount, then of course we will have to evaluate the options and go from there. But we're not really in a position where we need to sell anybody. Another gee transfer offer from Valencia. Not happening. Not selling it. I was thinking about possibly uh, putting him on the loan list, but... Now he's coming to a little bit of form, coming off the bench as the IA super sub. You know. 56 from 56. Boys still doing well there in the youth team. Hey, we got the manager award. Look at that. Nice. Transfer window closed. And uh, we've got an offer for 
Malcolm Powell. Not happening. We are not selling him. We trained him to be a left back. Even though he was a striker, which was just, like, really confusing and really weird. So here we go. The boys taking on at Shrewsbury. Should be able to get the job done here. Really? We are struggling against the lower teams in the league. We are going in Sutton United struggle. Yeah, the struggles continue. Yeah, you're telling me the struggles are continuing. And then we get hammered 4-2 by Sheffield Wednesday. Normally you have a couple of bad games. Now look at this, look. Blackpool will come up. We're only four points behind now. EA gods are like, you know what? You've won too many games now and drawn. It's getting there. Uh, a bit much. You're going to lose. Uh, White getting the equalising goal in the 72nd minute. Not what we need. Seems the boys are now dropping points like flies. And look at that. Blackpool. Only two points behind us. Something's got to give. Something's got to give. We can't... We're dropping valuable points against teams that are near the bottom of the table. So we've seen what boys can do against Lincoln. But now because we're in a slump of form, let's see how they actually get on. We should absolutely destroy them. But we lost 2-0. And you now know we're going to be third. You just know it's coming because this is how FIFA always is. It's the same with football manager. You could be on an amazing form and then all of a sudden you lose one game. And that's it. The decline happens. It always happens in FIFA. Always. So here we go, taking on Charlton Athletic. We're just going to roll out with the twos because something's got to bloody give because it is ridiculous. And why is it not put McGee in there? I don't understand why it's not put McGee up top. That's just weird. Pierin and Powell. Cartonen up top, why not? Hayes. Uh, Dunlop. Uh, Dragovic, uh, Powell, Mowers right back, and we'll have Saeed, not Saeed in between the sticks, Samuel, because we've only got one keeper, I forgot, um, McNeil. Actually, nah. Put you there and you there. And then you switch you two around. McGee. See how they roll out like that. Something's got to give. Oh, we're going to lose against Charlton, more than likely. Wow, no. Hoffman getting us the winning goal in the 82nd minute. Is that the turnaround that was needed? Because we've now found ourselves in, well, back in second place. But Blackpool have a game in hand. We've played 36 games. 36 games. Mm. <sighs> Huddersfield have only played 34 games. And they are now running away with it. Absolutely running away with it. Those lost games that we've had against far weaker opposition. These boys need to be putting in that form. And Lou is old enough. Let's promote you to the first team. 
just lavering now left. Oh, here we go. The boys have had a rest. Let's get straight into the game. Here we go. What is the score going to be? 1-1. One, one, and oh, Ogashi wow, with a 90th minute equalising goal. Boys, getting complacent. He's going to cost us so many points. So many damn points that he's costing us now. Valuable points lost. Valuable points they've lo we've lost. I mean, if Blackpool win and we lose this game against Exeter, which this game we should be winning on paper, we are the stronger team. We shouldn't be losing games like this. We're against Exeter. Let's sim this match normally. Let's see how we get on. Because I need to be seeing where these weak lines are. And I've turned the camera off so I can have a sneaky cigarette. So let's resume. I want to see why we're capitulating at the back so late on. We are in yellow today. So, down uh, the Santos trying to go down that left hand side. Carton and making the chase. Hoffman on the ball. And Bancole with the goal. That is what I want to be seeing. That is a very, very good goal. Just don't understand. Do we get complacent? Do we get lazy? Did the defence open up like the Red Sea? But there we go, another goal for Sutton United. Kidosa finding the back of the net. So what is happening with the boys? Is it still the fitness issue? Uh, 37. Come on boys, Piranen to Mao, back to Mao, Piranen, Mao. Yeah, these boys. Uh, we need to be getting the win here against Exeter. We really now can't be affording this late on in the season to be dropping so many points. Oh, good block there from the captain of the day, Saeed. Oh, and there you go, Mao with a power strike in the back of the net on the 26th minute. So now, if we jump to result, okay, we jumped to the result, they managed to get the good score, and we didn't capitulate in the back line. But how has that left the table? We are three points clear, but Blackpool have a game in hand. When are they going to be playing theirs? Come on, I'm, I'm hoping the Blackpool lose. Player on international duty. Who is that? Piranen's been called up again. I tell you what, that is really, really unlucky there for Cartonen. He's, he's not being called up again. But uh, Blackpool, I'm hoping they'll lose. But we are now taking on Plymouth. Quick simmy. Are we going to lose? And we get hammered 2-0. Again, dropped points. Dropped points. If Blackpool get two wins, they do take second place. They are now drawn on 71 points, still with a game in hand. We lost against them. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. So I'm just hoping Blackpool lose a game. So that's going to see us in... Th oh, it saw us in third place. Again, it's these teams that we should be beating. We are getting beat by. Let's throw um, the reserves out there. Let's see how they get on. We do have some big names still out there. And nil-nil.
So it looks like Sutton United are going to bits, falling apart at the last hurdle. Doing so well, flying high, and all of a sudden, they just get hit and they just can't beat the lower teams. So here's our Kryptonite, crypt Wickham, and Gillingham. Was it Gillingham? Oh, finally, the boys get a win. Mao and Reggie getting on the score sheet. We needed that win. We needed that win. Oh, and how did Blackpool do? Drawn on points. They've lost a the point. Hey, Lavery is old enough. Let's promote him to the team. Welcome, Lavery. This is his dream of happening. Look at him. He's happier than a pig in squalor. I was impressed. You've been in that youth team for a long time now, boyo. But we are one point in front of Sutton. And we're taking on sixth place, Hull City. <sighs> Come on, boys. Let's uh, sim this match. See how these boys get on. Hull are a very, very strong team. But we are now. We're considered a pretty strong team for this league. Can we get the win against a strong Hull? Hull oh, really unlucky there. Oh, that's a good ball through. Good ball through. Piranen. Mao with an effort. And then all of a sudden, we had uh, Bancole with a good strike. It sounded like it did uh, get a save by the keeper. But Hull, Hull's wing play at the minute seems to be catching us out. Pass and move. It was a good save. But the FIFA special... He goes straight to an opposing player up the top of the pitch. Let's uh, jump to the result. 2-1. We only managed to get a goal in the 80th odd minute. That is poor. Should be doing really, really well against teams like that. But unfortunately, we now find ourselves two points behind Blackpool. And um, Cartman, why do you keep coming to me about your position? You're in the training. You're training for that position. You do not need to keep coming to me and complaining that people are talking about you're out of position. You're training for it. Sutton lose, uh, lost a whole... Yeah, I'm upset as well. The boys are just getting near the end of the season and just throwing it all away. <sighs> throwing it all away. So here we go, we're taking on Morecambe. These boys had best get a decent performance against them. 1-1. One, one. We only just managed to get the equalising goal in the 90th minute and they had a, <laughs> a penalty uh, saved or something. Jeez, Morecambe! These boys are falling apart. We are now... Four ahead of Wigan, but they have a game in hand. Carton and position change. Finally! <laughs> you can stop whining about it. Change your position. There you go. You are now a centre mid. Please stop complaining about other people saying you're out of position. So, Oldham Athletic. I've got a feeling we're probably going to capitulate against these as well. Yes, look at that. Only just managing to get a goal in the 73rd minute. We are throwing the league away. And Wigan, still a game in hand. So Burton Albion, are we going to lose? 
Of course we are. They get the winning goal in the 82nd minute. No surprise. The boys are doing absolutely dreadful. Look at this now. Hull City, two games in advance. You know they're going to be getting some wins and getting in front of us. The same as Wigan, Peterborough. The boys are throwing this league away. Throwing it away, completely out the window. When are Hull playing their games? We need to know when they're playing. When they're playing, who they're playing. Jeez, oh, boys. When are Hull playing? Quicksim, might as well. We're against the league leaders. And we can beat the league leaders. 2-1. How? How are you doing this, boys? You can beat the difficult teams, but yet you can't beat weaker opposition. And again, Hull still that two games. Oh, oh, it just gets better. Saeed the skipper out of action. Huddersfield want us to be manager. We are, of course, going to reject that offer. We won't be leaving Sutton United. So, all depends on how... When are Hull playing these bloody games? Fucking hell. So, tournament prize money... We got 1.6 million and don't care about the Huddersfield job. Bloody playoffs. Bloody playoffs. That is disgusting. We had it in the palm of our hand. And then near the end of the season against the weaker opposition, might I add, they gave it away. And not only that, our bloody captain is out injured. <sighs> I'm going to have to bear with me one second. I've got to move the bag out of the way of the kittens. Oh, the boys need to be doing a lot better. A lot better. Alright, so what we're going to do is Santos can't really play here, but he is six foot six. So, uh, hopefully, he can do a job there for us. Uh, Hayes, Davies for Pan. Uh, let's see how, how these guys get on. Hopefully they do okay. We do, of course, need to try and get the win in today's game. Uh, bank. No, what? Oh, I wanted to bloody. Oh, ha. <laughs> bloody hell. All right, let's do that again, shall we? Uh, where are you, Powell? You off for Pan? Hayes for you and let's throw you up top in today's game Guy. you've uh, not got a m negative on you uh, hopefully you do alright so playoff time it shouldn't have got to this point these boys should be doing a lot better I mean just look at the stats of these guys they should be Walking away with this league, obviously, you know, we had the likes of Huddersfield uh, and things like that, but they should be doing a lot better. The performance is near the end of the season. Lost points to weaker opposition.
But the way they were playing near the end of the season, honestly, they don't deserve to go up. So let's throw the old camera back on, burn everybody's eyeballs. Let's try and get promoted, shall we? These boys capitulating at the end of the season. I want a better performance from them. I thought, you know what, let's just quick sim a couple of matches, make it interesting. But just giving it away. Giving away the league. Losing easy games. Good tack. Don't you dare glitch on me. I saw you. Cheating it. Good block there from Powell. It was a striker. Oh, come on. What's the hell was that not a foul, referee? Here's Mao. Oh, that's not the pass I was looking for, but I'll take it. I will take it, and so will Kidosa. The number seven getting us on the score sheet. Nine minutes. Absolutely brilliant. That's what we want to see. Press and move, press and move. It was the wrong initial pass that was found. But Kidosa, the number seven, with a goal in the tenth minute. Showing why he's the number seven, why he's in the team. Need to be doing a lot better though, keeping possession better. Here's De Santos playing as a centre back in today's game. Here's Mal Kidosa again, finding himself in acres of space. Nice curling effort. Didn't look like it was actually that far away, in all fairness. I've got a kitten near my feet. I didn't release the pass in time. Counter attack is our kryptonite due to fitness. But that was a very, very weird pass there. And again, our players just running past the line of the ball. Good tackle there from Hoffman, of course, though. Here's Kidosa with a long ranger. Straight into the palms of the keeper. Seems to be the story of the day. And boy, Blue, have you been to the toilet? Oh, jeez. Woo! Air freshener <laughs> comes in handy. I always need to make sure I've got it near me. She just dropped some clangers. Uh, wait, what? How did you lose the ball there? I'm slightly confused as to how we lost the ball there. Oh, here we go. Why do you change my player? You're not who I wanted on the ball. <laughs> Be handy if you actually picked a player that I'm asking for that makes sense. Okay, here's Kartanen. Run like the wind. Oh, an easily cut out. These easily cut out balls that players should be chasing down, should be winning. Is uh, ridiculous. And again, another missed effort. And come on, kiddies, you need to get from under my chair. Come on. <coughs> right, close him down, close you down, close you down. Slide, nice slide tackle there. But no doubt it's going to go to their play, and they're going to get all the way down my side of the pitch. Hoffman! And again, another woeful effort. On t just need to get these balls on target. And we're golden. Just at the minute. The boys just can't seem to get anything. Uh, the Did you really automatically change me from Kidosa? That is bullcrap. 
Come on, move, 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 Hoffman! Move! Not in fucking space! Shoot! Great save there from the keeper. But the boys aren't pushing forward. They need to press. And we lose the header. How tall are you again? Oh, jeez. You could have a team of giants and still lose the header against a bunch of hobbits. And again. That last heavy touch. I didn't ask it to go to you. And again, a heavy touch. Fuck me, boys. You're not playing in lead boots. Play some fucking football. And again, that heavy first touch. Fuck me, boys. Them touches. Fucking dreadful. Oh, boys. The first touches of the players so far today have been fucking atrocious. Absolutely piss poor. And will you stop running sideways and chase that fucking ball down? Oh, dre oh and you just happened to trip. So we can't use that player to cover and get the ball. Of course, game. Of course. Of course. Right, don't you run my player out the way, game. Fucking get in a tackle. Never mind standing there like a fucking lettuce. Oh, here's Kidosa. Looking for a good run on that left. And wow, how far out was that? Jeez, and kiddies, you need to move. Come on, move. Kitty, move, 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 move. Kitty's always under me damn chair. Oh, how far out? And they're going to win the ball. De Santos, my left back, the only one that's tracking to get it. And Carton and why were you running the opposite way? Players in space, please. Come on, you gotta come off my foot. Come on, move, 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 kiddies. No, come on. Uh, let's bring Dunlop on for Carton and something's got to change. His first heavy touches are ridiculous. And we lose the header. Kicked at my own player. Great. And they still manage to clear the ball. All them bodies in the box and they're still able to clear the ball. Wow, that was a heavy touch. Just take a strike. Tipped over the bar. The keeper is on some fine form today. Kajimazak, six foot six, and can't win a header. Apparently, it doesn't matter. I will say his name, but I wasn't looking at it, and it's not on the back of his shirt. But what a bloody strike that was. He's six foot six, that defender. And he can't win a header. But who the hell kicked that one? I need to know who got that one in the back of the bloody net. Was it Dunlop? No, it was Gee. Gee with the goal. That was a really good goal there from him. Really good goal. Uh, can you not run around the players with the ball? Uh, are you able to get a tackle in? Can we close him down? Are you not going to fucking tackle? Oh, and again, running around him. That needs to get fixed, FIFA. Fix, fix your game. All right, header it out. Nice, nice, kiddo, sir. Powell. Dunlop. How fast are your players? I can guarantee if I was their team, the players would not be that bloody fast. 
Here's Hoffman. An easy chance, soft as cheese, at the keeper. Good ball, and players running offside, you're really not fucking helping. Header away. Pass straight to their player. Getting a tackle, please. Somebody. Any fucking body. Can we tackle? You forget you've got fucking legs. Oh, bloody nose itches. Right, stop tracking and get that fucking ball. Stop messing about with it. And you're supposed to be running forward, Hoffman. Come on. That was not the pass I asked you to do. I don't know why the fuck you passed it central. Knew that was coming. When you can't touch them. Oh, jeez, my nose. When you can't touch them, you know they're going to score. I mean, look at all that bloody space he had. Look at all that space. The AI is screwing me over by not closing down. The amount of times I've shown my tactics and players are supposed to close down the opposition. Get moving, Davies. Get moving. Good ball in is all that's needed and it changes my play up. Take a strike from distance. <sighs> Boys, heavy first touches. That's got to give. Can't be playing like absolute dog shit. That was disgusting. Oh, and that's full time. We have 53% possession. We had 16 shots. 16 shots. Fucking disgusting. Disgusting. Need to be playing fucking better than that. That was absolutely dreadful. Uh, you can be even better. <laughs> no, no, no. Coming out of the bin. Come on. Bloody kittens. So here we go, taking on Peterborough again. I'm going to roll out with the twos. The first team was absolute dog shit. I mean, absolute dog shit in that game. Pyrenean, you're coming off. Lou, McNeil, you can come off. We'll put the two new boys up top. Uh, Hayes on the left. Uh, we'll have McNeil, Edger, Bellini, you can stay there. Actually, you need to be more in a defensive role down there. Uh, we'll have Young Davies, Saar, why not, Pan, um, Santos, Samuel in between the sticks, Dragovic, Dunlop, and Kajima is that. Kiddies, you need to start moving, stop walking under my feet. Let's see how this game goes. Completely mixed up team now. Uh, what? what? Oh, Saeed on the bench. It's not helping with him bloody injured. I'll put Mal there. Oh, got the hiccups now. Right, so there we go. There is the team. Hayes, the man with the armband today. We got absolutely screwed in that last match. And kiddies, you really need to stop walking around my feet. So let's see how we get on today. The first match, we only just managed to get a win. Something needs to give. The poor passes, the poor... Well, I won't even say poor first touches. Just absolutely dreadful first touches. And players, look, let, let's get on freaking attacking, shall we? Just so you move forward, because this is ridiculous. You, you're supposed to be pushing forward. 
Uh, you are not the one I asked to run for. I asked Lavery to run for it. Uh, Davies, chase the ball, buddy. Good ball in. And I'm not 12 foot 9, so I can't win a damn header. Alright, let's put it back to balanced. Because apparently attacking, it still doesn't make your players fucking run forward. Good ball in. And easily muscled off the ball. Oh, get out of it. That was after the fact. Ref, he walked into it. Come on, referee. Get that shit out of your eyes. Good slide. Good slide. Players, can you move forward? Fucking hell, trying to get players to make a run is like trying to pull teeth. Fucking make a run. Fucking hell. And now my left wing is only just starting to make a move. That's a foul. Apparently not. Jeez, boys, absolute dog shit today. Get in a tackle, will you? You're not who I asked to pass to, but... That was a horrible pass. Kiddies. Right, move. Come on, move. Move. You need to move. You keep walking and hitting all my cables. Uh, that was... That was the worst possible pa... Now I've seen everything. Now I've seen everything with those balls. That was fucking awful. We're going to lose the header. And lose the pass. We're not going to win this header. Strike from distance. Easy, easy, easy for the keeper. Come on, boys. This is dreadful play. Absolutely dreadful. Move forward, Bellini! Fucking hell! Move, move! Pass and move, pass and move! Fucking hell, don't take a decade! Fucking hell, tackle! Oh, you can get tackle, turn around, and get the ball quicker than my player just turning around. Mm. Right, move forward! Jeez, you need to move forward! I'm gonna put you on ultra attacking just to get you fucking forward! Should not have to push every fucker up just to get a damn tackle. Or to get an attacking move. Finally. Finally. It shouldn't get to the point where you're having to throw everyone forward. Just for someone to make a fucking run off the ball. And kiddies, you need to move. Come on, move your bum. The kittens keep running near the cables. Alright, let's go back to balanced. Hopefully someone can get in a freaking tackle. Or not. That was a fluke that we won the ball there. Right, here is Pan. I don't know what you're doing at left back position, but alright. At least you're there. <sighs> Brought down referee. Are you going to call it? Are you fuck? Some of these tackles they've done can be considered suspect. Come on now, ref. Come on. Wipe the dust out your eyes. 
Alright, so chase the ball down. Chase the ball down. Oh, look. Haze. Please. Stick a foot out. Stick a foot out. Somebody stick a foot out! Fucking hell! Ridiculous! Tackle! In real life, show some fucking ball awareness! Fucking tackle! Finally! Someone tackled! God, honestly, it really is like trying to pull teeth to get a fucking tackle. Fucking annoying. I'm not gonna win. Oh, we actually won a header. But you're just gonna leave it, are you, McNeil? Uh -huh. Fucking hell. Come on. Good strike. Palm away from the keeper. Let's bring Dunlop on. Give him a bit of game time. And you give me the shortest bloke on the pitch. Fucking hell. Where's the help? Where was the help in midfield? It's like all of a sudden, because it knows it's a difficult game, it's like, yeah, no, you're not having that. They're going to win that ball, ain't they? Of course they are. They always bloody do. It's FIFA. It doesn't play fair. Are you going to lose? No. Nope. <laughs> Can't even score a close shot. And what are they doing? Strike from distance. A claim for the keeper. Don't change my player just because he lost the ball. No, here we go, here we go. How many players am I going to need to tackle one of theirs? 50. Place your bets. Here's McNeil. That's not the pass I was fucking looking for. I was looking for a pass down the centre. Get in the fucking tackle. It really is so damn difficult to win a tackle. They really need to fix this game. It is so fucking broken. Right, can you give me a play near the ball? Every single FIFA. You will know there is times when it just refuses. Absolute and downright fucking refuses to give you a player that makes sense. Like, you could have three players right near the ball in midfield. It will give you your centre-back to make a run to midfield. Right, and again, claim for the keeper for a guess. Of course it is. Right, casual. Why, why are you on my two centre-backs? So, look, get forward, Dunlop. I knew a slide was coming. An effort. Finally. Find the back of the net. And it's McNeil. The goal scorer. <laughs> what a good goal that was. Gotta say. Good shielding of the ball. Good ball through. And smacked on the old peg. That's being Dragovic in for Edger. McNeil, good, good goal there. Very, very good goal. Nicely cut out. Don't know why he decided to stop chasing the ball, but... Oh, what was that pass, Dragovic? Completely killed the attack! That completely killed... Completely killed the whole attack. Fucking ridiculous. Headset's dying. So another corner for it to give me possibly the shortest player I've got out of position. Here's Pan. 
And Kazumazak, why did you not chase the ball down? Ball awareness. EA really need to make that a thing. Fucking ball awareness. Are you a footballer? I don't know. Can you play football? Do you know where your feet are? And apparently he still can't fucking tackle, so... It didn't make any bloody difference, did it, really? But make it a thing. Make it so the AI know what a ball looked like. That would be great. Because right now it is ridiculous. It is stupid. Really, we had 18 shots. Two on target. 18 bloody shots. And only two went in. Oh, something needs to give. Something needs to give. So, we've got Wigan. And the playoff final. I get... Come on, kiddies. You really need to stop going under there because of the cables. Uh, it's uh, Gaffer. I think I'm letting the team down. Playing as a left winger, probably letting myself down too. I'm not happy. I should be training in that new position. Should I be training in that position, or can I expect to go back to playing as a left back soon? You can play as a left back. I'll just put you there. Just for... bluey coloring the chair. Not great. But that game did give the first team uh, a little bit of a rest. They definitely need it. And Zakes, final game to see if we're going to get promoted. And Zakes. It'll take hard work. You can't just come straight out the youth team and go, I deserve to play. It doesn't work like that. I mean... Mao, look at Mao. He's pretty much our lowest rated midfielder, but yet he's in the team because he plays well. well. 60 rated now, wow. Okay, okay. So here we go. We are using the first team. Let's put Pan in. He had a pretty good game in the middle of the old park, didn't he? And, uh, Zakes. Um, do you know what? Let's put Zakes on for now. Uh, Moana, will you stop clawing the carpet, please? Um, Zakes for Kidosa. And then we will bring Kidosa on, obviously, because. We can't not have our best players playing. He wants a bit of a game. It's the, probably the biggest game of the season. And he's like, well, oh, why am I not getting a chance in the team? Because we're in the playoff final, probably. Well, here we go. Playoff final time. <coughs> we shouldn't be in this position, but the boys and their performance near the end of the season was just nigh on woeful. A really good ball there for Powell. Far post is what I was looking for. And again, not winning the bloody header. I mean, can any of these players fucking jump? And again, we get in the tackle and just do not keep the ball at our feet. That needs to change. But that was a really, really, really good ball. Take a chance. And why did you not run in with my winger? Why did it not run in with my wing initially? That was ridiculous. I mean, I don't see why it... I had that player on the wing right near the ball in real life. That player would have chased the ball down. Why doesn't the AI... 
EA really need a lot of fixing to do. All they do is basically take the same crap that they had in the FIFA previously and go, let's put it in this one, but just change the transfers. That's all it is. Same shit, different picture. Come on, boys. Make a decent game. But we managed to find ourselves 1-0 up. After all the negativity, can we get in a tackle? Finally! The boys have tackled everybody. The boys actually put in a tackle. Right. Are we actually going to be able to get the ball? Really, you just let the ball go straight past you. Don't worry about it. Uh, boys, boys, boys. If you, got, if you start playing like this in the championship, questions are going to be asked. Because it's not going to be good enough. Should be our throw in. If it's not, it's rigged. A oh, good ball on that way. Oh, really? You've run off with the ball? Fucking hell. Come on. That was ridiculous. Nobody in the box. Now, body's in the box. Flies, you really need to get off my tower. Is that Gee again? <coughs> that was a good setup, but the boys need to close down quicker. Ball awareness. EA, take notes. Ball awareness. AI need to know where the ball is. Press and close down. Because right now, they don't. Fix your game. Fix your game. And Gee again on the score sheet. Looks like we're going to have a good little superstar on our hands here. A 66 rated, I think. Three players around one, and I still could not get the ball. Question's going to be asked. Why the fuck can't we tackle? Good tackle there. Alright, Zakes. Prove your worth. Prove your worth. Prove your worth, boyo. Okay. Louise, stop clawing at the chair. Louie, she's a rebel. Looking at me if to say, I didn't do anything. Yes, you did, I just saw you do. Oh. What a good delivery that was from Zakes on that right hand side. What a good delivery. Uh, Paul, please, just get a tackle in. Fucking stand in there. It's really annoying. Uh, here's Powell. That was woeful. That was a really, really poor effort. A really poor effort. And that through ball was uh, to be desired. Oh, well, we got in a tackle and left the ball. Okay. Because that's how physics work. Really? Really? You leave the ball? A sly tackle. A brilliant sly tackle. We don't get the ball. Another tackle. We don't get the ball. Another tackle. We don't get the ball. Fucking EA. And your stupid fucking stuff. It's really annoying. I'll tell you what. I could never be a, um, a partner of EA. I just slag them off too much. Fix your fucking game and I'll think about it. <laughs> Other than that, what a crock of shit. Make a fucking game that works. Because your AI coding at the minute is dog shit. I doubt you watch this anyway because I'm, I'm just too small, you know what I mean? But still, listen to the small guys. I brought FIFA every fucking year. And it's fucking worse every year. 
worse. How can you make a game worse? Oh dear. What a joke! 20 tackles! Jeez, 20 tackles! We've probably only got about four that connected properly. Right, can you close down and tackle? Right, give me Mao! Right, okay, so Piranen didn't want to chase the ball down, even though it was right near him. And apparently it doesn't let you pass. No, don't run off with the ball! What a heavy first touch! Nice way of EA saying, well, you had the ball. Jeez, this should not be this difficult. I mean, EA, this is a controller. Okay. Let me use the buttons that it's coded for. Because they're tackling. I mean, even if they just fixed the tackling with the AI, it'd still be ten times better than what dog shit it is now. And um, let, let me select the player. And stop keeping him on side! That is fucking stupid. Sometimes your defenders they just have such brain farts. Constantly tracking back, keeping them on side. Stop it. Get fucking help. Really, really does frustrate me how fucking useless sometimes these players are. Absolutely useless sometimes <sighs> really frustrating it's like the simplest of passes at times is the hardest thing I mean you could smack and get a goal from like the halfway line better than you can get a half decent pass nine times out of ten and give me my winger or don't give me my winger right tackle and again we've got a tackle because the ball miraculously ends up at their players feet you know because that's how ball physics works Alright, so we got a tackle and they've still got the ball. Another tackle. They've still got the ball. Another tackle and they've still got the ball. How many more tackles do we need to get the ball? Proof is in the pudding. And where's my left back? Where the fuck is my left back? The fuck were you doing all the way over there? Get him. Where's my left back? The fucking hell was he doing all the way out the way? The fucking hell was that? Come on now, if that's not cheating and moving me fucking players out of the way, I don't know what is. That was ridiculous. All that time looking for my left back, where was he? And again, where is... Oh, there you are! I thought I had ten plays on the pitch for a second. Fucking useless. Oh, that was a great touch, wasn't it? Uh, any players want to, you know, try and find space? Good ball in. 
We're going to lose the header and probably lose it again. Yeah, and probably not win the header again. So three headers in a row. We lost. Oh, yeah. great coding. Uh, anybody else want to run in and chase the ball? Hmm? Fucking hell, it shouldn't be so difficult to just get a ball. Code your game for the players to run in. But there we go, 4-0. Guy with his hat trick. Piranen with a goal. It shouldn't have got to the point where we had to go through the playoffs. This team did amazing and now all of a sudden just this slump after slump against all the lowest teams. The teams you expect them to get a win against they were losing against. But Carton and his good captain for today due to uh, Saeed. Being out injured, imagine that. But uh, playoff champions, we will be going to the championship. And I'm telling you now, if these boys start the championship, how they near enough finished League One, they are going to have massive, massive issues. It shouldn't have got to that point, but massive, massive issues. But look at what it means to the fans. Carton running around with the trophy is happier than the pig in squalor. Ooh the boys have been promoted from League One to the championship. We did quick sim most of that season but the boys had what it takes and then all of a sudden they just hit that slump and just didn't seem to be able to get out of it but um, something does need to give because that was ridiculous league one playoff champions What a day it was for Guy, though. What a day. We had 59% possession to their 49. We had nine shots. We was limited to nine shots. But overall, good performance from the boys. Can't really complain. They did do well. And Zakes thinks I'm letting the team down. Uh, there are positives to take from it. Come on now. But, uh, come on. But we did get promoted. So here we go. What are we looking at? Uh, Camille Villa has returned from his loan spell. Uh, Declan Crook has returned from his loan spell. Uh, Carlton Stewart has ended his loan spell. William Hunter's loan has come to an end. Luke Taylor's loan has come to an end. Cartonen finally being called up. And Russell, Theodore Russell and his agent have agreed terms with Freiburg. Okie dokie. Financial report earlier in the year we set to complete our long term goal of increasing the club's worth within two seasons. We now received our preliminary financial report and confirmed that we met our agreed target. I completely forgot about that. And thank you for playing your part in helping Sutton United grow as a football club. And as a business. Nice. And Agnes Wiley and his agents have agreed personal terms with Tranmere Rovers. Okay. <coughs> it looks like they did pick the options to uh, bring those players in. So congratulations to the boys that we did send out on loan and did give the clubs the option if they wanted to to purchase the player so congratulations to uh, those boys obviously they did do enough for their club
uh, well, for the club they was with to warrant them spending the money to bring them in. But we will now be in the championship. Massive, massive, massive changes. So we need to now look. You are coming out alone. 78 overall. Shenouda. 78. Whoa. 78 Shenouda. You've been hiding out on us. The lone move is the good bloody thing for him. That's for sure. Bloody hell. Uh, so, Samuel, let's uh, delegate your renewal. And negotiate. You're not having a one year extension. Get out of it. A one year extension. Crucial, yeah, whatever. Five years. He wants an extension of two years. Of one year. No, you're not having that. Disregard release clause. You're not having your clean sheet bonus. There is no way you're getting that. Alright, you're still on a four year deal. Stuart. Let's delegate yours. An extra four year extension. Okay. Uh, Powell. Now on 64. We'll give you a renewal. An extra three years. Namarium. Just not good enough now, are you? Four years. If I renewed yours, why isn't it registered? I don't know. Sa. So, fortunately, you're going to find yourself on the transfer list. Taylor. Transfer list, I'm afraid. Uh, Vera, put you on the loan list again, Dragovic, Dunlop, Hoffman, Kidosa, Neil, Mao, Bancole, Zakes, Zakes we will put on the loan list, Hayes, loan list, Lavery, we're going to have too many strikers. Hunter. Put you out on loan again. Piranen. Crook. Lou. Put Lou out on loan. We say we still do have some good players out on loan. Rothero now up to 64. Wow, you've only gone up by one. Oh. That is bad. But what are the board objectives this season? Within two seasons, have at least one player from the Youth Academy signed in the first team, play at least 50% of the games in the next season. Sign one player from South America. Okay. Uh, domestic success. Just avoid relegation. Okay. FA Cup reach around the 16. Okay. Uh, within two seasons, reach uh, mid, uh, finish mid-table. That's not too bad. Uh, within the same season, sign one crucial player and make a profit of 8.6 million. Sign one crucial player. I don't want to sign anybody. But we might have to. Oh dear. But let's just throw in the sneaky saves. Because that will be it for this episode. Or stream. So I want to say a massive thank you to everybody that watched. We are now in the championship. And boy, do some of these players have a lot to prove. If they capitulate like they did... At the end of Netherlands of last season, should I say, then we've got no hope of getting anywhere 
in the championship. This league is a different beast. Have they got what it takes? Can they do it? Can we survive? I'm not sure. But make sure you stay tuned. Because you never know. Till then, have a fantastic day. And I will see you all here real soon. Under Sutton United Youth Series. We're in the championship.